we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with oxygen not included, wherein I'm suddenly zooming in for some reason. Not sure what that was. We got meteor showers, we got bunker doors, we got our uh, our solar build being worked on. Fantastic. I did do a little bit of experimenting in uh, Sandbox, and basically, uh, what are they called again? Conduction panels alone will not be good enough, I think, to cool steam turbines. Even if they're dealing with a very little... Uh, well, if they're dealing with very little excess heat, it might not be a problem, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so we're going to be pumping hydrogen into this room, as we've done before. Uh, but yeah, we're at the stage where we're basically just saving up steel. Um, well, we've already obviously saved up a bit of steel up here. And looking to get our solar system going. Um, what other projects do we have going right now? I think we already got this working and it was... There weren't really any hitches. We got some thermoregulators cooling down the gas before it goes to the rest of our base. And we'll eventually recycle some of that heat. Well, all of it, really. Um, I probably... Probably wouldn't mind running... Oh, that's right, we were just getting this science room going. So we can... Select an analyzed geyser to transmit amplification data to. Is this one FP247? So what happens if I do this? Does someone have to work on it? No guys are selected. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just selected one. Skill required operation, settings, errand. There we go. Awaiting delivery bleach stone. So, does the machine itself get bleach stone delivered to it? Oh, that's a lot of Paku. Are they glum yet? They are glum. Uh, how do I... How do I control Paku population? I can't exactly... I guess I could remove all but one or two eggs or something? I have no idea. I can't auto-wrangle them. I know that much. I actually can't think of a single mechanic that would let me control their population. So they don't get glum. Something to think on. What? It's to, What just happened here? Why are we zooming in here? It, that's the second time that's happened. I have no clue. Digging, farming, ranching. Don't care. Let's take Joya Seed. And... We continue to expand. Fantastic. How's our food? Not bad. Not as good as I expected. Um... We're not storing the bristle berries. Maybe I should make an actual refrigerator. Where would I, should I do that, I wonder? I've mostly planned this base a lot better, but I have sort of run out of places for certain things. 
I guess I'm going to expand in this general direction for a few things. Maybe have the kitchen right next to the uh, the Great Hall. That obviously makes sense. How big can the kitchen be? Uh, let's see. There's only... Okay. Uh, there's only one... I bet we're zooming in on this, and because I'm touching a key to pan around, it stops it from panning. Alright, we don't need to zoom every time. There's a media shower detected. We've tested that. Um... What was I doing? Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm trying to figure out the kitchen. Spice grinder, electric grill, uh, grill or gas range, refrigerator, up to 96 tiles. Isn't that the size of the mess hall? Uh, it is actually. Alright, what if we... Do we really need 96 tiles for the kitchen though? I don't really want to have to deal with this chlorine. Let's go 64 and see if it's enough. Do these have to be insulated? I don't think so. How? What's the range of their decor? One tile. So people down here shouldn't care about these insulated tiles decor-wise, I think. Should probably move this drop off for polluted water. We don't really need that. Well, we probably will need that, but it doesn't have to be here. Um. Are we? We're not really done exploring this way. I'll expand this over here, I guess. It's chlorine, isn't it? Figures. Is chlorine lighter than oxygen or heavier? I think it's heavier. Yeah, it's heavier. So it'll probably find its way down... Oh, like here, actually. We've already got that little bit to deal with. Okay, can I just copy-paste this onto here? Nope. Um, in that case... In that case, build this first. Alright. I wonder if it would be safe to increase the output of the volcano. Also, is this working? Uh, experimentation needed? What does that mean? Target is not erupting, awaiting delivery bleach stone. We don't have any bleach stone, I don't think. Um, cool steam vent, HW427. Does it change what it's asking for? Is there going to be an errand to change settings? There it is. Is someone going to do that? 
Spew Vim. Fantastic. Alright, does it change what it's asking for? No, it seems like it always is going to want Bleach Stone. Is that renewable? How can I make Bleach Stone? Surely it must be renewable somehow. Um, we can get a Puffed Prince to eat Chlorine. Hmm. Or a Squeaky Puffed. Alright, so Chlorine puff, Puffed Prince, that's the only way. Uh, obviously I can dig it up from some places. Um, do I have a chlorine uh, geyser this playthrough, or is that was that from last time? I don't know. Where can I get some bleach stone anyway? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Chlorine gas vent. Alright, so if I can just get a puffed prince in there. Do we have any puffs lying around? I'm pretty sure we do. Or flying around, rather. Puffed prince, you say. This is a puffed. I think we need a trap. Airborne critter bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we can capture it that way. We can make this out of slime. That's weird. Is it going to turn into a Puffed Prince if we leave a Puffed in here long enough? Or how does that work? I'm pretty sure I've seen a Puffed Prince just appear sooner or later. Every time we had Puffs around. Oh, here he is. Um, okay. I could try capturing him. Get rid of that nasty uh, slime. Don't have to, like, hand scan this door or anything. It'll also give us some more eggshells, that's good. Um, and I should probably prepare a room for him first. Let's see. If we have a ceiling go over here... Oh, that's perfect. That lines up beautifully. It's going to be a bit of a pain to dig through here, but... No big deal, I guess. What's the heat like over here? Kind of bad. Let's use insulated tiles. And how's this build looking? Pretty much done. Clearing it out is done anyway. Oh yeah, I wanted to put a door here. Alright. Let's clear that stuff away as well. Doesn't look like we'll ever need more than one pipe for bathroom stuff. Oops, that was supposed to be deconstructed. Why can't I... There we go. Get it done. Fantastic. Now I don't have to pay attention to this spot. And what was it we needed for a kitchen? A spice grinder, electric grill or gas range, and a refrigerator. I'm sure we can fit all of that in here. 
spice grinder. I wonder what order I should put them in. Surely the electric grill is going to get used most often, right? Gas range. Uh, spice. Oh, I should probably put a refrigerator or two right next to the, uh, the Great Hall, I think. Let's go with Igneous Rock. And... The ration boxes are actually not that full. But I see bristle berries lying on the ground all the time. What? How does that work? Maybe four fridges is overkill. I would hope so. Let's go with the grill over here. We'll leave room for some more fridges. Gas range. Spice grinder. And I think that's everything, actually. No mess table. Is there anything else I would want to put in the... Uh, the kitchen? Microbe masher? I think we're past that. Oh, egg cracker, of course. And... I think that's it. Figure out where we're getting this power from. Um, there's not a lot of potential load on this uh, transformer already. So let's just borrow that. Uh, and we'll probably want some lights. What are we printing? Suit wearing, ranching, doctoring, cooking, decorating, digging. I think I'll pass. And let's just double check that stable is stable. Fantastic. Okay, how's this build looking? Pretty sure the dupes can build that diagonally, so we don't have to worry about the hydrogen escaping. Although, if it did, I suppose it would... not really be that much of a nuisance. I should just put a gas pump in here with a filter and suck up the hydrogen. Or I could... Hmm, I was going to say I could simply pump stuff from here to here. But if there's any, like, polluted oxygen or something, carbon dioxide finds its way over here. Then that's not going to be so good. Is this reachable? I believe it is. Cool, cool, cool. And then we've got a little bit of mess over here. We can pretty much ignore that, I guess. Why are they taking so long to dig this? Here we go. Good job, Boofin. Why does it still have an order to uproot? Why is there a pinch of pepper plant here still? What? That was weird. Right, is this our kitchen? Uh, I believe it is. Enables spice grinder use. Um, so I always want to make... Oh no, I can't... Do I really have to automate this the same way as... 
Is there any reason not to turn a bristleberry into gristleberry? Quality poor, that might be a reason. We probably always want to make barbecue. Paku fillet to cooked seafood, sure. Fried mushroom, always. Frost bun. Uh, I think this grain is used to plant sleet wheat. So we want to manage that if we're going to use that for food. Let's see. Sleet wheat grain. Is it also a seed? It looks like a seed. Pretty sure it's a seed. Uh, what about bristle berry? Quality terrible. Yikes. Um, can we not turn that into better food? Omelette. Always. Uh, what's this? Spice grinder. Storage of all resources. How does this work again? Machinist spice. Improves operating skills when ingested. Uh... I don't understand. Stand. Are we just grinding whatever up into some of these? It doesn't have the usual layout of picking recipes. Filters not designated insufficient resources. Okay. Also, why have we not built this wire yet? Let's see. Priorities, construction, all of it. Do we not have access to the lead? Is it all down here? Is it reachable? I think it's reachable. Peed tree cottontail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, they're picking up lead. Alright, cool. Maybe I should put... Well, I was thinking of putting a conveyor to bring the lead up. But it's all over the place, so I'd have to make sweepers all over the place. Not sure how to go about. Alright, I think we can dig this now. How's the base today? Not too bad. Going pretty well, I think. We are slowly... Ooh, wow. Maybe not so slowly. Um, we're... I was going to say slowly gaining steel, so we can expand this stuff, but it's actually looking pretty good. I think I'd like to explore all the way to the left, up on the surface. I'll risk these ladders getting broken, just so I don't have to babysit it that much. Okay, what, what's in here? Chlorine, polluted oxygen. If we're lucky, we can dig through here and not let any chlorine out. And we'll make sure the Drekos stay on this side. For our natural Dreko farm. I will make the, all this artificial one day, but no need to rush. That's a lot of wolframite. 
What is Wolframite? I haven't looked at this in a while. Uh, it's tungsten. It's solid tungsten. Oh, it's tungsten ore. Okay. Tungsten's harder than iron, right? Uh, a smooth hatch can eat some of it to crap it out as refined? Interesting. Actually, now I'm curious about smooth hatches. Excrete refined metal when fed metal ore. As long as you don't mind losing 25% of it. But that saves a ton of heat and labor and stuff. Interesting. Okay. Uh, anyway. Let's see. Melting point is very hot. Hardness nearly impenetrable. Thermal conductivity 15? Uh, is that normal for a metal or is that super high? Maybe I'm used to looking at fluids. Uh, let's see. Refined tungsten. Thermal conductivity 60. Overheat temp plus 50. It's not that great. Specific heat's kind of low. Uh, let's see. Iron. How about refined iron? No, just iron. Iron. Refined iron. Uh, let's see, thermal conductivity 55, okay, so yeah, it's like iron-ish. It's made of wolves, indeed. Inside this metal there are two wolves. Um, alright, I guess we'll just dig through here. Might want to put some... I've already got a deodorizer here already, but might want to get one or two at this bottleneck before any polluted water, sorry, polluted oxygen find its, finds its way into the base. We've got printables, so definitely take some copper, unless... Nope. When's our next copper? 8.9 cycles, that's not too bad. We have been going a little bit overboard, taking our infinite copper for granted for a while. I guess I could refine some more manually. We've got 22 tons. It's not like I use that much of it in its raw form anymore. I find it a bit odd that if you were theoretically out of all of these raw resources, you would have to make it out of steel for something like wire, but that's a long way off anyway. I don't really want to pay the heat for the copper anyway. Like the, the downtime for this stuff. Then again, it has already caught up. Uh, we've got the maximum... Oh! Get swept. This this touch plate here is supposed to know how much steel we've got, not how much steel ignoring a bit of copper. Or rather, the problem is it's not ignoring it. Oh, you're gonna get trapped, aren't you? Don't don't get trapped, please. I would prefer if you did not die gratuitously. You gonna get yourself stuck? Nope, we're good. Fantastic. Oh, 
Okay. Where do I want to put my airlock, I wonder? Well, let's ignore the terrain as it exists. Where would I want it to be? Just in general. Wait, don't tell me this is one tile higher. No, we're good. We're good. Is a puffed prince going to be upset if it's in a tiny room or something? I, I imagine not. I'm going to have to feed it if I, if I wrangle it though, right? Well, we, we, we are feeding it. We're feeding it chlorine. I don't need to actually supply anything to it. I mean, I'm sure the... Okay, we should make sure we have plenty of capacity. Uh, even though this did go to 5 kilograms of chlorine. Wow. I would have thought this thing would... I mean, the geysers I've seen so far are over pressure at like 150 kilograms, but... Apparently, this will go all the way to 5 kilograms per tile. Which means if I do dig this far in, the chlorine's going to explode out this way. Hmm. I guess one thing I could do... Is, like... Drain the chlorine and then build what I want to around this before this uh, erupts again. Might be the way to go. I'd like these Drekos to be down here when I build across this way. I guess I could do it like this for the moment. Hydrogen is starting to bug me. I should have this building space. Let's do something about it. Does that oxygen... Are we stuck? Okay, we're good. Um, we do have a filter here, I think, yeah. And as long as there's enough hydrogen here, the natural... Uh... Gravity filter will prevent this from taking in the wrong... Well, we've already got automation to make sure it doesn't take in the wrong gas. Alright, let's put a gas pump about here. And... I guess a high-pressure output... Down this way. Whoops. And a bridge. And I'd probably better seal uh, these two rooms. Or this one room, I guess. Until it's done. Oh, I can't build here? Obstructed by heavy watt wire. Okay. Where is a conductive joint plate? There we go. Put that there. I guess if I flattened this area... Sweepies can't go up and down ladders. But if I made a sweepy down here to pick up all the diamond and iron and stuff... Can sweepies go up diagonals like this? I guess we could find out. Does it care if it's in fluid? Probably. Probably. 
if I built like a sweepy here and uh, uh, whatchamacallit, an auto sweeper here, a conveyor belt, all of this stuff up into the base. And our tens of thousands of lead that we've got. Uh, free for the taking, except it takes a while to go up and down the ladder. Could actually be put to better use. Why do we still have no power here? Oh. Okay, well that's... That's easy. What's the problem? Insufficient resources, raw egg... Yeah, I know, that's fine. Uh, suppressed current. And here we want... Anything edible? Seems good. Could maybe have a... Just a ration box to store cooking ingredients? Wait, doesn't this have higher density? Max 100 kilograms, max 150. It does. Or, if I'm not... If I don't want to refrigerate it, I could just use a storage bin. Can't exactly filter it by cooking ingredients easily, though. Um, we will be needing natural gas for... Oh my god, how am I going to get through that? How about a bridge here... And a bridge here. Cool. I'm pretty sure the overall usage with the gas range is very small, so I don't really care if it gets prioritized implicitly. Okay. Spice grinder. How do I set this thing up? Ingredients per 1000 K calorie. Mealwood seed, salt. Okay, so why do I have to set this stuff? Is this what we're spicing? How about we just try spicing everything? Do I have to pick which spice we're doing? I guess I could have three spice grinders and have different spices on different foods, but I don't know uh, what the value of that is. It slows the decomposition of perishable foods. That sounds good. Strengthens even the weakest of muscles. Improves operating skills when ingested. I think if we're just going to blanket, give it to all of the colony, I would either want to... Preserve the foods, or give people more carrying strength. That seems fine. Pepper bread. Sleet wheat grain. Again, I want to use this, but I'm scared of... Uh, accidentally getting rid of all the seeds first. We need to... we need to set up a farm for Sleetweed. What's the... what are the conditions for it? How cold does it need to be? Oof. Okay, zero degrees would be okay. It's not that hard. I thought... when I saw negative 55, I thought, yikes. 18 cycles... makes 18 grain. Uh, plus decor, that's nice. It doesn't need... Oh, it does need water. So I probably want to expand this to the left. But unlike our regular farms here, we need it to be a, a proper cold room. I could probably run a separate cooling loop. 
and have a couple of aqua have an aqua tuner or two down here. That's actually pretty easy. Oh, we're already we've already kind of dedicated this whole area to the main base. I could change that pretty pretty easily actually. Shouldn't be too difficult. Hmm. I'm surprised the heat from the steam turbines isn't as much of an issue. I guess we are running the coolant past it pretty close by. Alright, how's this build going? One Draco up here. No, 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 they're exploring all over the place. No, <laughs> I wanted them to stay down here. Oh, I should have thought of that. Can I, like... Just lock them in one door at a time, perhaps? Why don't I build a series of doors and force them open or closed? Until we get the Dracos on the left. Oh, one's down. Maybe I could build like a sideways door here. No. Let's just get them both in this room. Kevin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morning or afternoon, not quite sure which time zone you're in. Uh, it's GMT plus 10, actually. So, almost as far into the future as you can get. Okay, is this guy going to go left soon, or what? <laughs> go on. Yes. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yes. Close it. Close it. No! Okay, we got... We got him this far. Now close it. Wait. No, never. <laughs> Try again. Down under or USA? Down under, yeah. Strayer, mate. Go to the left. Yes. Now close the door. Someone close the door, please. Oh no, they're all taking a nap. No? Yeah? No? Maybe? Yes! Okay. Alright, just one more door. Might be easier after they all wake up, though. Let's not have just one of them open this and then... Like, no one's responsive when I need to close it. Um, alright. What are the set- why don't I just copy the settings from this egg cracker? I know there's a couple of things that we want to always... Uh, always crack. And now we can get rid of this mess over here. Oh, copy settings for the gas barbecue, fan- oh sorry, the electric. Tastic. And then? Um, this is actually the only recipe we can make at the moment. I really want to get sleet wheat going. Oh, I need to farm pinch of pepper nut as well for this. So hot and cold stuff has to come together for the same recipe. 35 degrees minimum. Air pressure... Phosphorite? I'm pretty sure we've been producing Phosphorite. Like from the Drekos or something. Yeah, we're probably fine for that. Considering we've got six tons in one tile here. One kilo per cycle. Doesn't seem like a whole lot. Polluted water... Uh, if we build it near this stuff, it should be less of a headache. 
But we could get it from here anyway. Actually, no, this this pipe often has water or polluted water, so... Oh no, what's happening here? Oh no. Speaking of... This is supposed to only take in polluted water. Um, But I'd been treating this pipe... Like, it's always filtered, because I was only thinking of it going to the water sieves. Hmm. What's the best way... I can obviously make a filter, but... Wait, how did the water get in there? Where are we adding water, like fresh water, to this? Huh? Huh? Oh, is this it? No, that's... that's just water. Hold on, what? Oh, we already finished adding that water earlier. What's the CO2 in here? Hmm. Alright, let's cut this off real quick. And by real quick, I mean wait for the auto load, auto save. And then empty these pipes. I guess the water's probably going to move and we're going to empty the polluted water. We'll see. What's this made out of? Iron ore. That's cheap. Alright, can we get this Draco in with its friend again? Thank you, Shmua. And thank you, Draco. No! Uh, you sneak. Okay, this might be our opportunity. Yes, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Close the door and build this. Hayaku. Mach schnell bitte. Uh, priority maximum. Except without it being an emergency. Maybe I should just do emergency priority. There we go. No! Yes! No! God damn it. Well, I don't think they're ever climbing up here anyway. Or even if they do, it doesn't really make a di- <gasps> Oh, I thought that was our chance. What? What? Um, is he stuck now? Okay. Let's fix that, I guess. That was not the outcome I was expecting. In any case, we could dig this far, at the very least. And then... Try this again. This Draco is a good boy. Way out of way... Uh, way out of range of hopping back up the top. And we just need this one to come down again. Yes? Is this it? Yes? Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, okay. Try again. And again? Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Yes? Yes? Is this it? Okay, we finally got him. Beautiful. 
Fantastic. Alright, what else are we doing? Um, I don't actually know how I want to go about having a hot room specifically for for the pincher peppers. What's this? Surf and turf. Barbecue and cooked seafood. Sure, why not? Mushroom wrap. Lettuce and fried mushroom. Um, quality great plus four. Nice. Need to know how to make lettuce first, but I don't mind queuing that up. Gristleberry and pinch a pepper nut. Hello. Yeah, by all means. I need to check first, does the pinch of pepper nut act as a seed? Base seed harvest chance. Uh, this is just plants. What? That, that didn't help anything. I have to assume that the pinches are same as the same as the wheat, uh, the sleet wheat. Okay, we've got some sleet wheat here, and we've got some pinches here that are inaccessible, so we're never going to run out by accident. I th think it's fine uh, if we make some of this stuff. But I think I'm probably going to have to go to the same trouble as with, like, iron and steel production to infinitely automate it. As opposed to just telling them to make ten at a time or something. You would think they would just copy RimWorld and say, uh, let you put in, make this until you have ten. But no, we actually need a separate machine for each um, for each thing we want to build indefinitely. Okay, now I don't think I really want to mess with 5 kilograms per tile of chlorine. What do I want this room to look like eventually? How much does it take to keep a puffed prince alive? Oh, he's about to die of old age. I hope he lays an egg or something. Um, do we get a specific egg for a puffed prince, or how does that work? Well, anyway, let's assume we can get another one. Uh, 30 kilograms per day. That's kind of a lot. That's six tiles of five kilogram, uh, like max pressure chlorine. Thirty kilograms, damn. Yeah, six tiles per day, per cycle. Or he might starve to death, I guess? Um, I kind of need to analyze this. Well, I think we're going to try even if... Hopefully... Uh, hopefully a chlorine gas vent can sustain him. Otherwise, this whole thing is pointless. There is one other type of um, puffed that can consume chlorine, though. Um, yeah, the squeaky puffed. How do we get those? If we just put them in chlorine, will they manage? A regular puffed only takes in polluted oxygen. So do I, if I domesticate them, do I have to put some polluted oxygen in that room? Just to keep them alive? 
So many questions. Let's get to experimenting. So given that... Hmm. I guess the size of the room in the long run doesn't really matter. In which case... I probably want it to be about as small as possible. What temperature does this come out? 60 degrees. Hmm. What atmosphere does pinch pepper nut need? Uh, it doesn't care as long as the air pressure is okay. 150 gram minimum, it doesn't have a maximum. Up to 85 degrees, pinch of pepper nuts will grow. Pinch of pepper seeds. So we could put our farm in the same room. That sounds like a good idea. Well, there's our hot room. And we might just have to steal a bit of heat from it to keep it from getting too hot. What about balm lily? Uh, 35 to 85. Has to be chlorine. Alright, cool. This one doesn't need fluids. And pinch of pepper nut, I think, needed polluted water. And phosphorite. And it needs to be upside down. If I do a four tile high room with farm plots, uh, hydroponic farms up the top, how large can a farm be again? 96 tiles? Yeah, maximum 96 for a greenhouse. So... It would come out to here, actually. This would be the edge. But instead of insulated tiles, it needs to be uh, hydroponic farm tiles up here. Um, it's not going to get hot enough to be a problem for those types of tiles. Obviously, you're going to need the dupes to be able to get up here to build it. Or I could just make some ladders. Um, and I think just regular farm tiles. Ironically, it's not happened this time, but ironically, dirt could be a more precious resources, uh, resource than these basic metals. Um, but not this time. Oh, we can use clay as well. But I think we'll use dirt. We know how to produce that. Um, we're going to need to have a farm station right about here. So these two are not actually going to be farm tiles. These plants don't need light, I believe. In fact, the only plant that I know of that needs light is bristle blossom. Many questions, few answers, indeed. Uh, Solutionary, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. Doesn't need light, and doesn't need light. We've seen it in the natural environment. I'm pretty sure the uh, bristle blossoms are the only ones that need light. And we'll obviously need a airlock door. Uh, before I do, I should put in wiring. And if I'm going to put in wiring, I'm going to need a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Power transformer? I could borrow from this wire, but it looks like it's already kind of struggling. 
potential load is double, is almost double uh, what we can put into it, but like, realistically all of these machines aren't active at the same time. We got some seldom used airlock to- what are you doing in there? Well, you came here for the steam room anyway. It's probably fine. But yeah, we've got 120 watt times 3 times 4 that seldom gets used. Um, we've got a lot of gas pumps. Probably don't need that many. Probably. I don't think I want to take from from this set of wires anymore anyway. I could probably make another transformer up here and split this circuit. Might be for the best. Oh, they never did build this because they couldn't reach it. That makes sense. Um, how about... Well, I want to dig this out anyway. Let's come over this way. Got the pipes done, mostly. Fantastic. Oh, and we can... get this done now. We'll get rid of that once it's connected. That didn't take long. Uh, there we go. Now we can put some kind of airlock here. Once they feel like deconning it. Fantastic. Alright. I think what I will do, just to make sure this doesn't overdo it, is put a element sensor up the top. And we'll just suck in gas as long as there's hydrogen. They'll end up being a tiny bit up here somewhere, but that's fine. Or I'll, I'll pretend it's fine anyway. So what does Balm Lily do again? It gives us... Balm Lily Seed. Balm Lily Flower. Medicinal applications. Okay. The intense perfume is best described as dizzying. Oh, they already built that? Fantastic. Let's put our airlock door here. As long as someone doesn't get trapped on the other side. And... Well, I can always move it. Let's put a transformer here for now. And I'll probably connect these two and cut this somewhere. How much power do we have on this side, theoretically? Over a thousand... That's probably almost 2,000 on that side alone. Damage overheat. That's not in a place I was expecting. Um, 75 degrees in here. Are we okay with that? 
Is it partly because the volcano is erupting? It's not erupting yet. Hmm. I did expect this room to be a bit warmer, but... Overheat temp 125... Does this have an overheat temp? I don't see one. This one's 75 degrees. Unless I build it out of something else. Hmm. Normally the polluted water that comes in would be a bit cooler. cooling it down a little bit, but yeah, I think we need to replace this gas filter with a steel one. And maybe think about actually cooling the room as well. Can we hurry up and remove that? Here we go. Why can't I place that? Annoying. Now I have to wait till they build it before I can give it settings. Otherwise, it's going to vent all of the natural gas from the synthesizer into space. Okay. Uh, what was it? Natural gas? Fantastic. Also, I was thinking about putting a carbon skimmer just in this room directly. That might not be the worst idea. Since it can't accidentally take in the wrong gas. It's kind of a natural filter and a very cheap one at that. Let me just double check if... Okay, if we've got a layer of water on top of the polluted water, that means it never off-gasses. Um, and our waste fluids are polluted water, polluted water, oh no, that consumes, no, it outputs polluted water, and polluted water and natural gas, right? And we get carbon dioxide as well from, I think, the natural gas generators. So we get polluted water, natural gas, and carbon dioxide. If I use a, a carbon skimmer, I don't think we need these filters at all, actually. Carbon skimmer. Overheat temp 75. I guess I'll make it out of steel. Let's try it. And I think I do want to avoid this room becoming quite that hot as well. We do have a steam room right up here. If I could pump the heat in there... Well, I would actually need to have a... Uh, thermo aqua tuner. Or something. I'd have to move this battery, which means I would have to move that automation as well. Mm -hmm. 
Alternatively, I could pump heat somewhere else entirely. Like, let the main loop deal with it. I don't know how much of a problem that's going to cause. I don't think we're gaining heat here quickly. I could maybe cool the water a bit. And the water has a massive thermal mass, so... This will... The heat from here will seep into the water relatively slowly. Also, I wanted to double check Paku. The comfort range stops at 60 degrees. They can live up to 80 degrees. Um, but I think they're in danger of evolving into tropical. The more heat we give them. Is that actually a problem? Uh, we definitely don't want the gulp fish. I think these are the ones that convert water, polluted water into fresh water, right? Which ironically... Well, last time it was a problem. Maybe this time it wouldn't be? Paku don't care what type of water that they're in. You already have two tropical eggs there? Uh-oh. Let's see, this... Maybe that's where that fresh water came from. No, but the fresh water should always be on the surface. Um, we're only gulping in water from here when the water level gets up to here. And the fresh water is always on top, so I don't think that's a problem. But if we produce, if, if we convert enough of this into fresh water, uh, it would actually be a problem. And I think it was the gulp fish that converts. There, there was some some type of paku that turns polluted water fresh. It wasn't tropical though, was it? I don't believe so. Okay. Did I already set it up so that we would be... Turning... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tropical... Oh. Apparently we're already trying to eat the tropical fry eggs. That's probably fine. I don't see any... Tropical fry eggs, though. Oh, here they are. Incubating. 11%. 21%. Maybe I need to crank up the priority on the egg cracker. Because we do not want... Lol. Uh, we do not want those eggs hatching. Our PHL, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wow, they're taking their sweet time deconstructing this. So, maybe we just run coolant pipe through this water. That might be all it takes, honestly. And... Maybe I won't bother with radiant pipe. I'm sure this is a long enough path to exchange heat with everything around this area. And I, I do want, like, the whole area here to temperature equalize, not just the bit on the left. See how that goes.
I wonder if we'd need more than one carbon skimmer. 300 grams per second. Uh, these two can do a thousand grams per second, but these are backup generators. Natural gas can do... let's call it 70 times 3, about 2... It's actually about 200 grams a second, so yeah, the carbon skimmer can easily keep up with that. I think that'll probably be fine. Evil Plot and Sea Moogle are supplying? That's weird. Why does it flicker between them? There we go. And we could probably just mop this up. We're relatively low on our ethanol. Awaiting delivery lumber. Uh, there's no lumber left, I guess. Where, where is it? No, there's plenty of lumber. What the hell? That's 15 tons right there. Make sure you supply lumber. Alright, back to our other projects. That's looking good. Uh, let's see. Pinch of pepper. Why can't I plant it? Oh, the ladder's in the way. Oh no, does it need three tiles of hanging? It does. I need to make this room bigger. Wait, but that means... Oh, the farm's gonna be... Big. Uh, what I could do is just have a screen door on this side. That seems okay. But yeah, if we want, if we want hanging and growing from the ground fruit, uh, food or plants, then it needs to be five tiles high. Maximum size for a greenhouse is 96 tiles. Um, that's obviously not going to math out very well. We could do 95 tiles. And farm station. So we'd be able to have... 17 pinches and 17 um, farm lilies. I guess that's fine. So how long? How long is it? 19 tiles. And then we'd stop there. Just have a screen door there. That's probably fine. Yeah, I, I think I can live with that. We do want the heat and gas from this room into this type of farm. And maybe I'll put another one on this side eventually. Alright, but we are going to have to have people climb up here to build this. Unless... That might be okay, actually. Okay, so this one's going to be Balm Lily. Oh, we have printables? Uh, sure. Alright, how's this looking? 
Oh, no liquid input. It needs regular water? Yeah, regular water. Uh, we can take it from here. It's probably fine. Hey, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, water goes this way and this way. And I would like that to be a high priority than all of those other pipes. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And low to you too. What's this? They still haven't built that. Wow. Okay. Uh, we don't need this little blueprint over here anymore. What's the problem with the gas range? Waiting for materials. That's fine. Cool, cool, cool. What's this we can't sweep? Uh, mealwood seed? I'm ordering McDonald's. Fantastic. Uh, and it sounds like we got more copper. We did get more copper. Beautiful. Probably open this up now. I don't know what I want to put here though. Taking their sweet time building those pipes as well. I know there's no material shortage for those ones. Why are we still awaiting delivery lumber? The ethanol distiller. We've got all of the lumber. And I set it as a pretty high priority. Okay, there it goes. There's our lovely copper. I think I know which, uh... Uh, which volcano I want to buff first, actually. But we need that production of bleach stone first, which we're working towards. Maybe I should dig some out temporarily. Oh, here's some bleach stone that doesn't even spill chlorine all over the place for us. How are we doing today? Not too bad, thanks. Just vibing. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get rid of all of this bleach stone down here. Fantastic. Give me some ladders across here just to make sure. Although they do have multiple paths to get through there, some of them don't have Atmo suits. Oh no, they can't go this way. That's fine. Why 
Why do we have poker shells down here? Glum protecting. What? But your eggs get sucked to a different room, and who let you out anyway? What? Why did it make that sound? Just now. I thought that was a power problem sound, but it happened the moment I set these guys to be wrangled. Who let you out? Yeah, who, who did let them out? And, and we've got glossy Dracos wandering around as well? What? And there's a pinch row egg down here, somehow. I have no clue how this happened. No power. Oh, well, that's obvious. Okay, our farm is coming along. Fantastic. Let's get some pinch of peppers in here. Wait, that's not what I wanted. Plant. We'll obviously need to do a bit more before they'll actually grow. I think we will. Yeah, they do need polluted water, for one thing. But I don't think... They're agnostic to the gas that they're in. Um, so I guess we're going to have our polluted water I guess we'll use the polluted water from the dupes again although it seems like we're not no it should be enough I hope I'll need to put a bridge here to prioritize it And then where am I going to get through here, actually? Oh, this'll do. Might want to... They can't, like, block swap this. That's going to be a mess. Let's just go this way for the moment. here to get that done. Fantastic. I think the dupes are going to be able to reach this from the floor. I hope so. Certainly hope so. Could you finish this build, please? You're so close. And it would mean so much. What is... what's with the chipmunk? Is he okay? Uh, wild, happy, hungry. Yeah, I don't know what's with that, actually. He's in oxygen, so... What's the deal? Insufficient resources, refined phosphorus. Oh. I thought we only needed bleach for this. Refined phosphorus. Uh, comes out of... Well, it gets consumed by an abyss bug. 
or an azure bug, but I can't see any way to make refined phosphorus. Picked a seed and can't find a place for it. Oh, okay. That's cool. So we'll keep wandering until he does. So do we just melt phosphorus and then let it uh, let it solidify? Is that what we need to do? Let me see. Phosphorus. Oh, that's phosphorite. Solid. Turns into phosphorus as a liquid. At 243.9 degrees? That's going to be tricky. So you're telling me to buff any of our, vol our volcanoes, we need a production chain where we take phosphorite, we melt it to a very hot temperature, and then we pull it down. Melting point 243.9 degrees, but then I thought it said freezing point 44 degrees. So we have to get it back down to 44 degrees. After it's been melted. I guess we could use gravity. Um, we have tiles that don't let solids through, but they do let liquid uh, liquids through like mesh tiles. So we could drop the mesh tile, uh, we could drop the phosphorite onto mesh tiles at the top of a room that's very hot. And either pump, uh, pump the hot liquid into a room that's going to be cooled, or is just room temperature for that matter. Is there no refinery for that? I don't know. Not to my knowledge. Fertilizer synthesizer doesn't do it, right? No, it just makes fertilizer. Uh, it would have told us if there's a recipe. Yeah, so we, we dump phosphorite at the top of a room that's going to be very hot. It turns into liquid, it drops down, and we either have a pump to take it somewhere else, or we somehow have a room that's very hot at the top and quite cool down the bottom. Which I don't really see happening unless we had like just somewhere for the liquid to flow down and then like metal tiles uh, and a cooler room down here which is like not that much different already. Unless... There's nothing that keeps gas in place... Oh, yes there is. Keeps gas in place but doesn't let liquid through, right? Blocks liquid without obstructing gas. Okay. Wait, no, that's... isn't that the opposite of what I want? It is. I don't think it's possible to get the opposite of this. I would love to have a room, like a, a, a vacuum in the middle. And we have a hot room up the top with gas and everything. 
uh, and a cold room down the bottom where the liquid can flow to. What if it was a vacuum, but we had... Let me paint this somewhere else. Like space, perhaps. Uh, what if it was like... Mesh tiles up the top. We deliver phosphorite here. Uh, we've got... It's all a vacuum. And we have conduction panels here. Will conduction panels actually transfer heat to items on the floor? It says it exchanges it with overlapping buildings. I don't think we could count on that. Yeah, I don't think so. What if there was hot liquid up here and it was all vacuum? Well, no, the idea is liquid can fall down here. No, I think we're just going to have to have a pump down the bottom to take the liquid somewhere else and some insulated pipes. Okay. Where do I want to do this? Probably this area. How much phosphorite do we have? Oh, here it is. 58.4 tons, so that's a yes. Why have you not built this? Or this, for that matter. At this rate, someone's going to get trapped in the airlock room. Oh, look at all the bouncy little poker shell spawns. And a water bottle for some reason. Oh, that was from when we fixed up that, that little oopsie. What's your problem now? No liquid output. Oh, what is it output? Polluted water? Yeah. We can just do that right here. We're already cycling polluted water from this place. Hurry up, please. Also, I don't want this water... ...sitting on top of where the fertilizer is. Throwing off the weight plate. What is that sound? Are they okay? Eight from feeder, tame, idle, happy. Oh, seems good. Maybe they just gave birth or something? Oh, they cramped out polluted dirt. Cool, cool, cool. That's what we need. Uh, better hurry up. This room's getting very full of CO2. <laughs> Also, I actually removed the means to take in uh, natural gas that pools in here as well. i probably just put that up the top since it's lighter than the CO2. But we need to check... That fish is pooping very loud, indeed. 
Uh, we need to check that it's immersed in natural gas before we suck this up. So let's get a... Uh, gas element sensor. Is it a problem if I make it out of lead? This thing can't overheat. It would ha it would have to actually melt. So I don't think so. How about I put it over here? Cool, cool, cool. There's our CO2 getting deleted. And we also get... Um, I thought there was some resource we get out of this. That I overlooked previously. Water goes in, polluted water comes out, we delete the CO2, but the polluted water, when we deal with it, gives us... Uh... Some dirt, actually. That I didn't expect. This boy looks like he knows a thing or two about a thing or two, and he even speaks English, we're in luck. Bag Boy Brown, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get that element sensor built first so I can actually set the settings on it. What's the quickest way to vacuum a room without using a gas pump? Uh, do you mean like cheese it with building doors and then removing the doors? Is that what it is? Is that what we're alluding to? Oh, we've already got the polluted water here. Doors delete the contents. I want to save the contents. Oh. So what? Build tiles in a certain order to push it out? I'm surprised we don't have... I'm, I'm sure we do have... That many pinch of pepper seeds. Let's see. Pepper. Pinch of pepper nut. Zero kilograms. Pinch of pepper seed is different. We've got 47. Hey, that means I don't have to worry about um, over consuming the pinch of pepper seeds. Cool. They are actually growing already. I didn't even need to do anything else here. That was easy. How much uh, polluted water do they use? Um, 35 kilograms a cycle. It sounds like a lot, actually. Like, a lot, a lot. But since we're deleting the CO2, this is another source of polluted water. Oh hey, our coolant loop is done. And... Yeah, the crude oil is... It's actually gaining like 8 degrees going through here. So I don't think we have to worry too much about, like, radiant pipes here. That should be enough to keep this whole room from getting stupidly hot and without um, pumping too much heat back into the main base, I think. Probably. Why is this not working? Oh, right. Uh, unbreathable hydrogen. Fantastic. And then connect. As long as we keep detecting hydrogen here, we'll 
move the gas down here until this room's a bit cleaner. They're taking their sweet time planting this last uh, plant. Okay, uh, we've got our vacuum here. Well, not vacuum, we've, we've sealed it. Let's get a gas pump in. And to do that, I'll probably need to remove this. And where do I want to put this gas? Is it literally nothing but hydrogen and oxygen? I think it is. And even if it wasn't, it'd probably be okay to pump it to the same spot. Are they going to be able to reach? I might just have to temporarily get rid of the farm station. That might be easier. What's this other gas? Uh, it is... Oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen. Okay. There's a bit of CO2 here. That should be fine. You can overaccumulate O2 to speed up its spread when you open doors, indeed. That poor poker shell. Can, can I wrangle it? What is that sound supposed to be? Don't tell me this room is full. No, I don't think so. I don't think it can be. That's the second time I've gone to wrangle something and it's made that noise. Soup wearing, supplying, farming, noodle arms. Close, but not quite. Doctoring, cooking, building, decreased construction. Get out of here. Alright. So, gas pump. I want this room to have nothing but chlorine in it. You can push it out by abusing door mechanics free of energy too. Doors cost power? They don't have to. Um, they'll work with no power, albeit slowly. Alright, that's looking a bit better. And we're down to 8 kilograms of CO2. I don't know... You know what, these are cheap and we've got room. Why don't I just add another one? What's the temperature here? 44 degrees, that doesn't need to be made out of steel. Definitely not anymore. Let's do copper ore. And like so. And I'll probably swap that one to get my precious. It's only a hundred steel, maybe I'll just leave it there. We're not having that much trouble with steel anymore, actually. Ooh, we're almost done up here. 
Conduction panels awaiting copper. Fantastic. Yeah, this is getting close to time to fill it up. In fact, we've expanded so far this way, I should probably double it before I start it, because it's a pain to expand it once it's working. Maybe that would be a good idea. Uh, and these go above the two solar panels. And then we just need some mesh tile above those. We will eventually turn these window tiles into mesh tiles. But as long as... Uh, as long as we're still experimenting with this, it's possible we'll have meteors hitting here, and I want those diamond windows in place. Oh, it's still paused. Whoops. matter if I make this out of sandstone? I don't think so. Uh, except we need some bridges where we want the steam turbines. I think one steam turbine for four solar panels should probably be enough. Probably. And I want this to go here, which means that should be a bridge. Uh, and then we'll do the usual radiant pipes to help with cooling. Cool, cool, cool. We don't have that much copper, though. I really don't want to put iron... I mean, uh, lead up here, however. Yeah, I think eight solar panels is more than big enough that I'll be happy with that. Uh, looks like we are ready to put an airlock there, but may as well finish the rest of this build first. And we'll come back to that later. Do you mean you aren't going to burn hydrogen in generators? Okay. How's this looking? Uh, it's still gaining like 7 degrees. But it's only coming out at like 24 degrees. That's okay. That's fine, actually. I think. As long as these plants are cool enough to grow, I think that's okay. So where are we going to do our, our build? I think here we could actually maybe pump the heat into this room to make the cold room, perhaps. 
Could I take advantage of these pipes that are already here? Let's see. We're running them through a aqua tuner, right? No, we're not. We're just sort of passively exchanging the heat. Hmm. Considering how cold we want the cold room, that's not going to cut it. Do I want to do it somewhere else, like close to this build? And we could use active cooling. I need to have a really hot room. And then a really cold room below it. Maybe I should do it in space or something. No, they'll have to drag the phosphorite all the way up here. Hmm. I could just build a separate dedicated um, active cooling room. Come to think of it, we're pumping heat. Uh, I was going to say, we're pumping heat from one room to the other, so that'll be its own loop. But again... Yeah, no, I think I can see it now. I see the path. I don't really need this airlock here. Lindsay, why are you hurt? Who hurt you? So I want a room down here to be nice and cold. And a hot room here. And we'll have, once again, steam turbines up above. I think for the moment, while we're building it, we'll just have ladders like this. And how hot did it need to be? We're looking for... Uh, phosphorus. Here we go. 280 degrees. That's not so hot that I think we need double uh, insulation. I don't think so. I think we might need more height, actually. If I have liquid phosphorite and steam in the same room... Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's too hot for the most efficient steam, right? More than a little bit hotter. Hmm. Maintaining a specific temperature is tricky. It doesn't matter if the refined phosphorite is really cold, right? So we'll keep running the thermo aqua tuners until... until we're above melting point in that room uh, for the phosphorite. With the steel one, we can have an overheat temperature of... What is it? 125 degrees plus 200 for the thermo aqua tuner? 
Yeah, the base overheat temp is 125. Did they change that? I could have sworn you couldn't make any kind of steam room with gold amalgam before, with a thermo aqua tuna. Because this will actually go to 175 and be fine. Uh, but the steel will go to 325. That's good. So if we have some... Some steel thermo aqua tuners. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, if we have some steel thermo aqua tuners, uh, some steam. No, I don't actually want the steam to go to 280 degrees. So does that mean we need another room, like uh, metal tiles above the hot room? The only thing we need in the room down below is a an auto sweeper that can withstand the heat. Except there won't be any heat in the room down the bottom, right? But we need room for a sweeper to take the finished product out so the dupes don't have to go in and out of there. Uh, the, on the, in the room above, we need a height of two. So that we can fit thermo aqua tuners. And we'll, we'll pump the heat from this room to this room. Uh, how hot are we trying to go? 280 degrees. I don't think... I think we could do it with crude oil. Negative 40 to... To what? Wasn't there a problem with going hot with the crude oil? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh yeah, it'll turn into petroleum at 400 degrees. Well, that's well above the temperatures we're working with. Do they prefer to feed buildings like the farm tile first? I think... Oh, what the hell? Oh, did we get a vacuum in here? Or something? No? Why did this break? What was it made of? Iron. Overheat temp 75. That's definitely... Oh, I was going to say that's definitely not it, but yeah, it's actually kind of hot over here. Um, alright. It probably got hotter because the air was thinner. Let's, uh, let's see how hot it is after we remove this. Oh, and this thing is ready to go. Fantastic. Let's get that air out of there. Yeah, there's a pretty big temperature difference between here now. Let's equalize it. Is there a sick dupe that was about 
What was that about Colony not being a torture camp? It's not a torture camp. Can't prevent them from being sick unless we know the game inside out. And we're ridiculously careful with slime biomes and stuff. Speaking of which, this might be where they caught slime, even though I got them to build tiles over the slime. Oh, speaking of which... It's probably since that new project. Um, printables are available. We've got Doctrine Tiding Cooking, Snores Loudly, nope. Uh, Nyctophobic, that's fine. Cannot do building, digging, operating, suit wearing. Don't think I care about that. Critter ranching one. Ranching, tidying, digging. Um... Sure. Let's get Ashken. And I'm going to need to make another bed. Probably over here. Was he nyctophobic? Or was that the other one? He is squeamish. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and I should give him some priorities. It's been a long time since I added a dupe. Uh, let's see. Agriculture. Why is operating so high? Oh, probably because I want them to level up their... Athletics when they first get here. And then we've got wrenching, um, tidying can probably be the next priority. Did I leave Lindsay on this? Like, by accident? And same for Shmua. They've kind of maxed out operating. Maybe I should just leave it that way. I'm not too concerned about digging, to be honest. Uh, and don't bother with the things you're bad at. Is this base or DLC? It's the base game. Name a dupe? Uh, yeah, I th think I re-enabled that. Did I not? I, th I might not have. Let me double check. Uh, viewer rewards... Oh, I did not. There we go. That was quick, <laughs> Kevin. Um, wait, didn't we already have you in here? Or was that last time? Yeah, we do have Kevin. No double dupes. I'm refunding that one. No bunk. We're not naming multiple dupes after one person. Oh my goodness. Um, so we want to tidy this up, of course. Okay, so we have cold room, uh, hot room. It's 
it's going to get liquefied and then we pump it down to the cold room. And that seems okay to me. And then probably make sure we don't fill the whole thing with liquid. It's probably okay if we just... If we just put the output on the floor. Oh, of course, forgot I was already in the colony. Oh no. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, I think that's what this is going to look like. Liquid pump. Oh, it's going to need to be steel, of course. This room's going to be very hot. Uh, max temp we can deal with with steel is 275 for a pump. Is that going to be okay? Uh, what were we trying to phosphorite? Phosphorite liquid, 200 and... It, oh, it'll turn into gas if it goes to 280. We don't want to go that far. Cool, cool, cool. So... Freezes at 44 degrees. It becomes liquid at 243. So we've got like 37 degrees of leeway there. RPHL, name a Duke. Okie dokie. Let me just double check we don't have you as well already. No, we don't. Okay. So, Lindsay or Ashkin can get named. I see Ashkin first. Oh, I can't do it from here. RPHL space. Fantastic. And we're done ski. So I don't know how wide this needs to be. Maybe we'll need a few thermo aqua tuners to keep up. Um, but if our target temperature to melt the phosphorus is 244 degrees. How hot can our pump go? Two hundred and seventy-five. Cool. Yeah, this will be possible. All right. So steel pump. We'll start here, I guess. And we'll need some thermo aqua tuners, which are bloody expensive. I imagine we'll need at least a couple to go that hot. Could be wrong. Uh, and let me just cheat from myself here. Remind myself how this works. If it's going left to right, then the bridge goes there. That makes sense. And we should probably use insulated pipe here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the pump's going to be in the way. Could move it over a tile. Come on. Why is it centered on the left? Okay. Uh, and we can extend that out as far as it needs to go. I 
I should probably build this with airlocks so that we could update it if necessary. Or in case there's some kind of... if something gets broken. So I guess this ladder is not going to be temporary after all. Um, lead? Melts at 327. We're not supposed to go that hot, but I would still prefer to play it safe. I'll just plan it out this way for now. Uh, I could borrow from this. Oh yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna separate these. And put this on this circuit over here. Potential load on this side is still more than 2,000. But realistically, we'll be fine. Does it have power? It does. Why is this showing a different color? Whatever, it should be fine. Uh, and let's do copper going up here. And set the priority lower on that one to hopefully try to get them to build it in the right order. So if we drop the phosphorite off here... Oh, this should be metal tiles. Metal tile, make it out of copper. And maybe this is enough. So this is going to be our steam room in here. Because we don't want that actually reaching... Yeah, we will be generating heat by pumping it around and using the Thermo Aqua Tuners. But maybe metal tiles are a bit overkill here. I just want something that's less insulated than this side, pretty much. And I want to get rid of the excess steam. Uh, heat in this room. Do I really need the steam turbines for this? We're going to pump heat from this room into this room to keep this room at uh, 250 degrees or whatever. And that's it. So, I don't think we do need a steam turbine, actually. How much refined phosphorite do you need? Um, just enough to keep some of these uh, geotuners going. It's asking for 80 kilograms, but I don't, I don't know how long that's going to last. So maybe this is fine, actually. Maybe I should have double insulation. I think I should. For the hot room. For the so-called cold room, it just has to be, like, room temperature. Except it'll have hot uh, fluid coming into it. We can a refined phosphorus build. Yes. Mr. Micella, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let's let's suppose that we do need double insulation for this. 
I mean, I don't think we need it, but I'm excited to see how it goes. Nice, nice. Uh, I hope we can just seal this and be done with it, because I don't want to have to do another, like, vacuum airlock to keep the heat in while letting the dupes in and out for this one. I should probably just do that to begin with, but... Well, no, I, I really just should do that to begin with. Because I'm going to have big regrets if, um... Oh, I can just disable this when it's built. I'm going to have big regrets if I do have to come in for maintenance and I just can't. Also, if we do a vacuum seal, uh, literally zero heat will escape. So we can stop doing this uh, double, double thickness nonsense. Uh, how do I want to shape it, though? I don't mind trading some heat with heat, with this area, we do want this room to be, like, at most 40 degrees anyway. Uh, we'll have a vacuum here, I think. In which case, this is too close. We'll move it back to the left. Let's get some wiring in here ahead of time. And... We do need gas in the room that where the stuff cools down. And I think I actually want the the hot room to be like floating and not touching anything which means it wouldn't really matter if if this was insulated or not In fact, I don't think I even want it to be insulated here. Since we want this to be about room temperature anyway. Oh my goodness. Leave him. No, bad. You look ridiculously happy for having been suffocating for a, mo a moment ago. Alright, uh, none of these are attractive, let's just print the seeds. And I want an airlock here. Uh, we don't need this. We need our copper to go here. Do we need any power in here? I think we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do. So, get rid of this. Bring this over here. Actually, that's going to have to move as well. Because we need conductive... Where is it? Conductive joint plate. Right about here.
Uh, we won't need a lot of electricity in here, so I can just borrow that wire thing. It's only... it's literally just for taking the final product out. Should be fine. I guess this may as well be insulated. It's actually kind of a waste of energy. It takes more time to build it. Uh, heavy rock conductive. Up here is fine if it's uh, lead, but not down here. And I'm going to have to run heavy... Why? Oh no, that's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. Maybe I should do copper here just to be safe. we're short on something for steel. We're not, though. They're just not doing their job. Well, regardless, I would like to have some more copper. We are presently cooling a bunch of copper that came out of the volcano. But, oh, it's not dormant for 76 cycles, so we'll have a bit more copper. But I don't want to rely on just that. What is that warning? Okay. Does it matter if there's oxygen in here? I don't think so. I think almost any gas is fine. Maybe it should be hydrogen to transfer heat better. No, I think it'll probably be fine. As oxygen. That's not what I was looking for. Who is... See, Moogle. Why are you like this? There you go. Those devs, though, with the whole phosphorus thingy? What about it? So I want this room to be a vacuum. Um, I feel like I'm going to want something up here, but I thought we proved we didn't need it. It's a new resource loop. Oh, now there's stuff stuck up here that they can't get to. Made a mess? Why? Why are you making messes? And why can't I see where the mess is? The toilets are working, my dudes. What? What? Why? Why are you like this? Oh, there's no water going in? What? How? How is there no water going in? 
it's cold enough in here for us to automatically add more... There's no power? Oh, okay. Oh, this is only a thousand watt. Uh, that might help. Let's get this done immediately. But what about the other source of water? Oh, there's nothing in here. Damn. But there is constantly water being added. Oh, this is where it's getting added that's wrecking this machine. Okay. Lucky, luckily, we caught it in time this time. Um, how should I modify this? Just... Bring it over here. Do we really need these old plants? They're not even growing. And we need a bridge going this way. And... We already cut that off. There is water getting added from the desalinator, it's just a bit slow. Um, and it should be impossible for that water to get to the wrong spot now. Except that this water is already at the wrong spot. So let's fix that. Treco's poop phosphorus? Yeah, I've got I've got the phosphorus right here. We've got like uh I think one of these tiles had like seven tons. Yeah, here's here's six hundred and eighty seven kilograms of phosphorite phosphorite. 873, and so on. We've got quite a bit. There's barn lily which grows without any fertilizer. They need to eat. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of a temperature problem, but... Wait, what is the problem? Pressure. It's pressure? Really? 110 grams. What's the pressure? needs 150. How are we... Holy crap! Uh, how did that happen? Because there's not enough power on this side. Okay, it really is an emergency to fix this. Alright. So now these pumps are working... Uh, hydrogen is... Where's the hydrogen going? Back into the same room. It's going to take a little while to sort itself out. Uh, more importantly, the electrolyzers are not working. We desperately need water. Uh, I'm going to take the safety off of this one. Um, I'm just going to have to change this setting. Temporarily. We're going to take our reserve water and put it into the system. Yeah, the, the gas pressure is low here because there's no electrolysis happening. Uh, I could take in some of this water, I guess. It'll sort itself out eventually.
I gotta be careful I don't let it suck in regular water though. I could add another hydro sensor right there. To keep it doing this for a while automatically. But no, I think that'll be fine. We'll just take in this water. Until we get it back to a reasonable amount. Um, desalinator, you should be putting in water as an emergency. Why are you not doing that? Because you're getting the not value from this, that's why. So, if this... If this water is too low, then we ignore the temperature and put more salt water into the system. No power. Okay, we really just need to feed this thing power without limit. We're 640 kilowatts over on this circuit. Um... What's the maximum if I... That's about a thousand. Okay. If I connect this here, and connect that there, maybe that'll be okay? I need them to do that immediately though. Just checked the wiki, am I crazy or does Phosphorite have like one-fifth of the SHC? SHC? Specific heat capacity? Okay. So now our desalinator is actually properly powered. It'll still take a little while to sort itself out. Um, we're not in danger of falling behind keeping up with getting rid of this water, but could we please make sure that doesn't happen? That would be good. Why is there oil here? I don't recall. All right, mealwood is growing, fantastic. I tried very hard to make a very neat and organized base, but there's still an amount of spaghetti. I guess I could put more power transformers here to organize this better. Should probably just go ahead and do that. It is going to generate a bit more heat, however. There's only one bathroom available at the moment. Why is there pee water in here of all places? One thing goes wrong and it just makes a cascade of work to do. They still haven't built this pipe? Barely started on it. We can print...
If he wasn't flatulent, I might take Max. Let's take Cole. Alright, we've got a constant input of water now. And I did set this back to what it should be. Fantastic. Can we focus on these projects again? That'd be nice. When you do the state change to refine, you'd get something like five times the heat that you put in. Yikes. I hope that's wrong. Otherwise, we definitely need a steam turbine or two. It wouldn't be the most efficient, and I would need active cooling. But I could put steam turbines directly above the hot room, as long as there's some steam in there. Um, and we just set them to only suck in steam if it gets above 250 degrees or whatever it is. It wouldn't exactly be simpler because of the active cooling that would be needed. Okay. Uh, they never actually connected this? Really? They've definitely got access to it. Well, did they finish the pipe yet? That's more important. They haven't even started? Unreachable build. How do you figure? Why are there no spacesuits here? Are you kidding me? How did you remove the spacesuits? Is it because you went back a different way? It might be. The wonder of dupes do 99% of the work and never return. <laughs> yeah. And now they're giving these plants dirt. But it's too it's too hot or something. Over here. You're not sweeping the polluted water. I don't think I've given them a place to put it. Uh, found it. Found the perfect place to put the polluted water back in. Unfortunately, the bottle emptier is going to be a little bit... Uh, no, I could put it here. That works. A little bit further from the door than necessary, but no. This will do. There's no O2. Is there water going in? Oh my god. Where is all this water going? Just because of the shape of the pipes, the electroly electrolyzer build is kind of a relatively low priority. But, oh, we're not getting it that consistently. Well, there's water coming in this way. So what's happening? It's getting dropped into this room. 
Oh, I see. It happens in bursts because of the... I thought I set this up to prioritize filling these containers first, though. Or did I temporarily change that or something? No, the bridge here should be prioritized. And then that goes... oh. Yeah, I did temporarily deprioritize that. Okay. And then we don't have to spend the energy on that pump. I can't remember why I would have changed that temporarily. But basically, only if these containers are full um, do we start dropping the water into this room. I think it was probably because we were having trouble equalizing the temperature. Because the radiant pipes go to here. That makes sense. I probably already tried to think of a way I could have my cake and eat it too here, but... I'm not seeing it. Uh, if I move this liquid vent down to here... ...ish... There's no room. Oh, I could do it here. No, I wouldn't be able to bridge over this. I could put a bridge here instead. And if we fill to here first, and then put into the containers, and then if those are full, we fill the whole thing. I think it's better if we just reverse the priority on this. Let the room fill with water first and then put stuff in here. Because we need the water to go up to where the radiant liquid pipes are so that we can equalize the temperature better. Because it comes in quite hot. We'd still... we need a much larger amount of water to avoid this, but we'd still be avoiding spending the electricity on this pump, uh, assuming that we keep up with our water supply. Okay, how could I change the shape of it so that we prioritize this, but also put it into here? I think I simply remove the bridge and run the pipe straight down here. Uh, as it is, until they remove the bridge, it's doing 50-50. Sigma, why you know decon this while you're here? Good job, C Moogle. That's not the bridge you were supposed to... Okay. How can I even tell if I'm removing the right bridge? This should do it. Uh, and this has to go back here. Hurry up, the base is starving.
Did you just like 99% build that and leave? Uh, duplicates. Ragnar is on the job. Fantastic. Yep, it was pretty much finished. Alright, so priority one is filling the room. If it gets up to here, we start putting it in the containers. Once the water level gets up to here, it'll be that much easier to keep it uh, at a reasonable temp. Now, if they could just hurry up and finish these pipes. Nope, of course they're going to bed now. Is this not powered still? Really? I, I can't fathom how it takes them so long to get a few construction jobs done. Okay, now that they're awake... Oh wait, we can only get one person on this at a time? Or two? As soon as it's all delivered, it'll all get done pretty much at the same time, though. What? Why didn't you stay there? This is literally emergency priority. Oh my god. Could you be any less efficient? Back and forth and back and forth. How many trips does it take to supply enough material for a piece of pipe? Really? I'm actually shocked at how long this is taking. Emergency priority and it's half a day to get a piece of pipe that's like seven tiles long. Oh my goodness. We're actually getting close to like bedtime. Like, I do not know if they'll finish it today. That is beyond absurd. We're right next to the middle of the base, by the way. Is every world generated uh, guaranteed some sort of metal volcano? Um, I don't know what is or isn't guaranteed, actually. Yeah, it, we're literally, we're getting close to bedtime. Just waiting for these, like, seven tiles of pipe to be built. Unbelievable. Why don't I know everything? I don't know. Barbecue? It's already got exosuit training. I don't want building ranching, though. Oh my god, please. It's finally happening. It only took literally all day with emergency priority. We barely did it before the bell rang. Is this thing still erupting for a while? Next dormancy, 95 cycles. Cool, cool, cool. So, our water problems are solved, right? 
Not exactly. Maybe just not yet. Mojo D, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One job indeed. Speaking of jobs, they still haven't built these two tiles of uh, inductive wire. Oh, there's no oxygen here, that's why. Because there's no water going into the electrolyzers. Which is finally not the case. But we are pumping a lot more heat into the base, so that could be a bit of a problem. Uh, the game is suddenly running a lot worse as well. Oh, now it's better. Not sure what that was. Okay. Finally seeing that hydrogen start to go up where it's supposed to be. And we're actually bottlenecking on the one pipe for water, which should be considerably more than we need. Fantastic. Alright. What were we trying to do before all that nonsense? Should I get a automatic sweep? I don't have room. And besides, the phosphorite is all over this room as well. I don't think there's any spot that I could put this. That would be of any use. I could get some of the phosphorite from here. But not all of it down here. I think I would have to... No? I thought I'd be forced to move a... To move a plant out of the way if I put it here. What's the temperature? 47 degrees at worst. It should be less than 30. That's what it takes for these plants to grow. It will get back down to that temp. So we don't need to worry about what we build this out of. I could just put a couple of them here. I don't believe they consume electricity except for when they're actually working. And conveyor loader is going to need to be in line of sight of each of them. And the belt itself. I want it to drop off phosphorite up here. Um, we don't actually want all of the phosphorite to go this way, do, do we? Surely we want some for, what is it, fertilizer? Yeah, we do. I could just have the conveyor belt drop some of it off here as well. Or perhaps... A conveyor receptacle? into storage. So the dupes can just take directly from this, right? Yes. We've done it, boys. The only question now is, where do you find four kilograms a second of water? Four kilograms a second? Um, where do I want to put this, though? I should just put it down here. There's no room. Uh, there kind of is, but I think it would be, if I put it on a ladder, it won't work, right? I could put it right here. They're going to have to go through this door anyway. Which means we'll do a little split. 
What what shortcut is conveyors? Shift F3. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could just have it drop off right here. How many things did Phosphorite go into? Medical pack? Mm. Oh, quite a few, actually. All right. In that case, why don't I just drop it off here? We've already got a space there for it. And over here as well. Just put it on the same power network. It won't be used all that often. No seed selected? Oh, did it force... Did it force removal of... Of this one. Yeah. Weirdly enough, I was able to put the auto sweeper up here, but not this here. I guess I could just do it like this, even though it looks a little weird. That seems fine. Alright, what's our temp? 36 degrees, it's already cooling down. Really not liking our water situation though. If only we had a water source that wasn't 80 bloody degrees. Um, or in this case... 95 even. And this is 110. Not a fan. Uh, I haven't configured this yet. It hasn't even been built yet. Okay, how about we steal this oxygen right here? Is that enough to at least get through once? You're going to do something else, aren't you? And then the suit's going to have no oxygen. Nope. Yes. Maybe. It's going to take a while to resaturate the oxygen. There's a lot to catch up on. And it's not easy to make a prioritization system with the shape of how things work with this. We do have a constant flow of it now, at least. Oh. No, it's still there. I, I really just want this built so that I can give it the settings. I really, really would prefer if we didn't have to wait for this to physically be built to give it settings. 
But those are the breaks. Perhaps I could... Get some oxygen pushed up here. So that we're not waiting for the entire base to saturate before that area gets some oxygen. Growth halted pressure. Oh, we finally made a vacuum in here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's open this up. Oh wait, I forgot. Yeah, no, that's right. This is 95 tiles. And I actually want all of these to be farm tiles. And we should be fine to decon all of this now. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Don't suck in the chlorine. Nope. Um, there's five kilograms per tile of chlorine here. If I try to output it here, by the time they build this, it's probably going to be... I have an idea. I think I have an idea. I'm, I'm pretty sure high pressure... Oh, overpressure, 20 kilograms. That's fine. Michael Kazioch, Kazioch, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Oh, they hate going in there for the chlorine as well. Which means they're going to want Atmo suits. Which means more waiting for... Um... Copper and... Oxygen and stuff. I'll just have to let them get sore eyes for a little while. Uh, actually, yeah, we will use this pipe. That seems fine. Be needing that anymore. Just Michael, sure. Can I ask what mod you use for the airlocks? Uh, sure, the mod is called. I think it's just called Airlock Door, actually. Unfortunately, I can't see the name of it just by mousing over it in this game. Oh, they finally built this. All right, liquid, polluted water. And that's all. Now they can sweep the polluted water at last. Can't sweep the steel, but we won't need to. You guys are still down here? Didn't I wrangle you? Oh, now there's a baby one there as well. Okay. Are they wild? No, they're tame. Shouldn't they be starving? 
don't know how you even got down here. And there's random oxygen masks laying around. Lovely. Just read it in description. There you go. Nice. How's our water sitch? Taking its sweet time to catch up. As one might expect. Can I take some cold water from somewhere? That's not a whole lot. But might not be the worst idea. Put a pump down here and just pipe it in there. And borrow from this wire, should be fine. That should all get done with no further action. Atmosphere? Oh, there's hydrogen in here. And here as well. What are we printing? Plastic? Why not? How much plastic do we have? 8.5 tons. I already made this whole lot of plastic though. Uh, I guess we can go further down. Speed things up a bit. When they climb back up. Which way are they gonna go here? Probably there. Is this reachable? Yeah, it is. Still got a lot of plastic left. Yeah, we can literally plasticify the whole world. As far as the main bus ladder is concerned. Old Busk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vexo Navy, good to see you again also. How's the food issue? Uh, bad. Food is bad. Because we've been struggling with water and then heat. Because we've been pumping hot water in. We do have a bunch of food here taking its sweet time turning into food. What else? we have, like, too many hatches or something? No, we've been making sure. I could turn some of these poker shells into food. People are going to get, um... Attacked. A little bit. No? They don't hit... Huh. Okay. I, I would have thought they would fight back, but apparently it's only to protect their eggs. That'll definitely slow down the food emergency a bit. It's also going to slow down our steel. You cool down your base with oil? It's just a cheap a uh, liquid with a high, relatively high range of temperatures it can tolerate. We've also been cooling down this, uh, this water, which is also pumping more heat back into the base for a while. 
We are down to 34 degrees over here, so it's not that bad still. Um, but yeah, suffice to say, our food ain't growing. Um... Is it because... Let me double check this logic here. If battery charge is high enough and... Uh, temperature is above 6.9 degrees. Yeah, this is going to be bottlenecked on power one way or the other. Low threshold zero, that's not how it should be. How about... What? Low threshold 20%. We should probably have the same logic for all of the Thermo Aquatuners here, though. Maybe I should build some more Thermo Aquatuners. But we're only running this one all the time because it's not connected to the logic. So we're just going to be bottlenecked on power. Uh, maybe I should hurry up with that solar panel system. Maybe I got too greedy trying to double the size of it before we get started. I really don't want to have to, you know, adjust it and fill up the gas and stuff too often, though. Can we avoid starvation? That would be good. What kind of stop gaps do we have? Or things literally cool down? These mushrooms aren't growing because we let the because we let the CO2 out. Oh, we lost the the holy uh, water tower with three different liquids. Rest in peace. I can't believe how quickly they're getting these ladders built. I wish I didn't take that extra dupe earlier. Really didn't actually need him. Uh, let's see. Give to me a Atmos suit dock. Not there. Would it be good if I could see where I was placing it? Now what? What's it made of? Copper. Did it get the wrong gas? Uh, I don't think it wants to tell us. What's the temperature? It's cop it's made out of copper, it's not the temperature that's a problem. Overheat temp 125. I think we must have somehow got a little CO2 in here. These two don't bother going through the filters. Oh, I see. That's, that's no good. Well, regardless, I would like one of these up here. And we're going to have to make another suit.
that's not the type of suit I meant. Oh, how many snazzy suits do we have? Or rather, how many people without snazzy suits? Too many. Seems putting on a suit is an extremely high priority. How did this guy get hurt? Poor Pip. We're running out of food. What do I do? Still at like 35 degrees here. Okay, I think for one thing we stop... Uh, we stopped trying to cool this room for a little while. Found a modulite like, yeah. Meal lice for a quick fix. I don't think I've got anywhere to spam meal lice. Um, that's like almost 30 degrees. That's like 30 degrees. This stuff's not growing. This is basically 30 degrees. Wounded go to med bay? Yeah, I'm using it. It's it, it basically makes it work like I would have expected it to in vanilla. Uh what was I doing? Snazzy suits. We can at least die stylish. Uh how many Dracos is this? And how is this damaged? Are you kidding me? 59... Oh, it's made out of lead. Okay. What's this made out of? Also lead. Overheat 55. It's just not quite that hot down here. It really shouldn't be that hot over here. Bloody hell. Let's just remove those two for now. Yeah, same. Yeah. Where can I get more food? Are we harvesting this? We're not. Although, I don't know if we have any recipes that can just use that directly. Will they eat those without preparation? Okay, we are bottlenecked on pinch of pepper nuts for this recipe. So that's something. How is that unreachable? Hot Dracos to the rescue of your cool babes? Hot Dracos? Oh yeah, how many do I have here? That's what I was asking. Max is supposed to be four, but we've got... Uh, nine? Including eggs? Are they glum? They are glum. Uh, we've got a few eggs here. Let's just... Leave it at that. We need to sort out the temperature here before we can feed them anyway. How's our oil temperature? It's a little cooler. We'll just have to put off cooling this room a bit. Or maybe I should put it on a separate cooling loop. Like, pump the heat into this room somehow. Well, I already addressed this. I would need to have a... Aquatuna. 
And there's no room left. Combat. Right. This thing's also made out of lead. Yeah, this has never been this hot before. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad. Maybe I should stop letting hot water in, but then we're out of water. I could let in temperature controlled salt water. Still. Hopefully we can still manage that. Take some ice, why not? They still haven't built this? Well, they're getting there. Kinda need that cool water like yesterday. Uh, what is this? I think I found half the problem. Our coolant... Uh, our, our hydrogen is not cycling. What the hell, what the hell, what the hell? How is this not connected? Are you kidding me? What? Are you serious right now? That's it? But you're already... That is pathetic. We've got this gas shut off, switched off, and because this gas bridge is one tile further away than this one, is all of the gas is just trying to go in here. Even though there's a gas, even though there's a intake one tile further away. That is so stupid. So we haven't been running our hydrogen uh, coolant loop this entire time. Well, it's still not moved. How did this get deconstructed? Oh my goodness. I wonder if, if that had anything to do with it and this actually worked previously. Because I, I would have thought, I would have noticed if, uh, if this didn't work earlier. No, it should still go to both. Yeah, that's not the problem with this part, in any case. Can they hurry up and finish this? Nope, they're all going to bed instead. I'm gonna have to wait till morning to find out. Alright, so we've got hydrogen coming in at negative 40 something degrees. That's gonna help just a little bit. Just a tad. Build this immediately, please. 
Alright. And if this is still connected... That is the expected behavior, even though... That would be the expected behavior without having to have this the exact same length from the T-intersection. Absolutely ridiculous. How are you here without a spacesuit? Oh, you're just standing there? Okay. Whatever the case, uh, it's working now. Still gonna take a little while to catch up. Oh, this natural gas is rather hot as well. Even though I specifically made sure... Yeah, the natural gas coming into the base is actually quite cool. This has just been sitting in, in heat for that long. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh, you're waiting to be moved. Finally got those two carbon skimmers working. And we're actually starting to run out of carbon dioxide in this room. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. What's going on here? I never powered it. So this is going to pump... Uh... Oh, we're still ejecting all this CO2 into space. I don't think we need to be doing that now that we've got the carbon skimmers here. Uh, I don't think it needs to be insulated either, considering it's just staying in the same room. Albion Line, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cooling with oil isn't as good as compared to polluted water, except that polluted water will flash to steam. Uh, at 120 degrees. And it'll freeze at negative 20 as well. Uh, crude oil has a wider range. Negative 40 to 400 almost. It'll turn into petroleum at 399.9 .9 degrees. It's got by far the widest temperature range for an easily accessible fluid in the early game. Why do you want your base in those extreme temps? Uh, I'm using the oil here for... Uh, the metal refineries, for example. And I also just want the water as actual water early on in the game. The uh, thermal conductivity of oil isn't so bad that when we're covering an area this large, it's not going to equalize temperature with the surrounding area. How's our food? Oh, zero. Wait, no, that's sick duplicates. Uh, our food is only practically zero. Probably as close as it can get to zero. Um, that's not terrifying at all. I really wish I hadn't taken that extra dupe. Yeah, I'm not seeing any quick fixes. Lamau. I 
I'm really not seeing a whole lot of quick fixes. What is this? Polluted ice. Okay. Microbe musher? That's actually a good idea. You know, it was literally just earlier this stream that I was saying, I don't think we need a microbe musher at this stage. But here we are. Construction, priority nine. Why is the spice grinder head pink? I think it's because I selected Ronnie Spice. That's probably the reason. I've never used it before today. All right, mush bar, lice loaf. That's probably. Well, we're not even growing mealwood anymore, except for the trackers. We'll probably just ignore that. We do have a few dusk caps, at least. What's tofu made out of? Nosh bean. Isn't nosh bean, like, hard to grow? Quality is plus two, standard. Needs ethanol, dirt, carbon dioxide. Almost no air pressure. It has to be cold. Okay. We could do that. I mean, it's not something I'm doing as an emergency food. Alright, start eating that dirt. How many times are they going to supply it before someone starts the recipe? There we go. Doesn't that look appetizing? I guess some people are just not eating this evening. What's our temperature at now? 35 degrees still? Is the hydrogen cycling? It is. It's coming back at negative 16. That is not as cold as it was before. Which means the heat, uh, some of the heat from the base has come up this way. Why is there not much hydrogen coming through here? That's a good question. I actually don't know. We're getting closer. Can we hold out that long, though? Oh, this isn't supposed to go this way still. Where did these gaps come from, I wonder? I'm gonna take a minute to get up here where we can see it probably get filled out as it goes through. Alright, well it doesn't look too bad now. We're still five degrees over. Thermo aquatunas are working their butts off. It's not great that the food is at the end of the coolant loop. I mean, it's fine when we can keep up with the whole base, but... Normally, maybe it would be better if it was at the start. 
something to bear in mind next time. We can print no food. Unfortunately, we can't eat copper. We can eat poker shells. What the hell? Oh. What? Why is... Why is attack on yellow alert? I, I don't know why it's doing this now. Yeah, why is it doing this? What? Now the starvation is starting to kick in. The only Dracos we have are eggs right now. I guess we could eat pips and hatches as well. Oh, we've got 15k food now. That is more than zero. Technically. Does this go to a filter? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Is polluted water going to make its way over here? I don't think so. That's going to cool the base somewhat. We are just about to drop below 35 degrees. Why is this so cold? What the? What is going on here? <laughs> I know I dropped some ice here earlier. Oh, it's still there. Four kilograms. And because there's some oil as well, I guess the temperature from that is spreading out? That's kind of weird. But okay, I guess. Do you have a hatch farm? Yes, yes I do. It is over here. And we don't have six million of them because I'm automatically sending uh, the ones that go over a certain number uh, to have a relaxing steam bath. Because that is, as far as I've discovered so far, the most humane way to deal with um, population numbers automatically in this game. It's that or drowning. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, we've got like a million dupe skills, but I don't want them going over with morale. It's also just a pain to go through them at this point. We do have a little, little bit of food. Drowning the eggs is best for food? Wait, what? I don't call it drowning though, that's cruel. It's the evolution chamber. So the euphemism chamber. I could grab a tiny bit of food from there, but no. How's our new farm coming along, speaking of food? 
They still haven't built this. It's unreachable because this doesn't have power. And this needs a suit. Um, and I'm going to want them to build that vent in order to get rid of the chlorine. Burning adults? No, oh, it's a relaxing sauna. Nope. Couldn't, couldn't be. Besides, this way I don't have to make an arbitrary extra room to slowly execute um, the critters just so that their friends don't become glum. You'd think after however many years, uh, Oni would just have a, you know, an option to automatically put them down in a way that isn't horrifying. Or even control their population growth in the first place. Hey, we're finally starting to see this room almost empty of CO2. Cool, cool, cool. How's our temp? 32, 33 degrees? 33, 32. Okay, we're getting there. I can't believe that gas pipe was busted that whole time. It took a long time for things to get that bad as well. It's coming back at negative 16 degrees still. Okay. And our hydrogen is saturated. Looks like it. Yeah, that looks good. Calories are going up. I just really want to see Bristle Blossom growing again before we start working on other projects. I mean, I guess I can chip away at them. There's nothing... Uh, nothing in particular to do about it at the moment. This could definitely be lead. Um, we're going to need... Do we need heavy watt wire in here? We're just going to be sweeping up the solids as soon as they're cool enough to be solids, right? So we'll grab one of these. Speaking of which, let me put this back now that it's not so hot. And this is going to be looking for phosphorite. Where does phosphorite go? Agriculture? There it is. Oh, it's already moving. Cool, cool, cool. And dupes can just take from here, right? So that way it'll 50-50 split. There'll always be some phosphorite for making fertilizer and stuff. Uh, and then we want to drop the fertilizer in here. Um, I don't think it matters if we put it right next to the door or not.
how much liquid could be in here before some kind of disaster happens? Maybe I should put some automation, because what I'm imagining is we drop phosphite into this room, it gets hot, it becomes liquid, there's more and more liquid, we're still putting more solid phosphite in here as the liquid pressure continues to grow, and there isn't some kind of built-in limit on the output to this, like with pressure from gas or liquid. So maybe the pressure can build up so much that it'll like break through our tiles or something? Do you control the water temperature the bristle blossom's getting? Uh, not really. But basically we keep this area cool and it sorts itself out. The bristle blossom doesn't consume water that quickly. Yeah, these are all regular pipes, so they can exchange heat with the surrounding area, uh, which we're going to keep below 30 degrees regardless. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... Um, automation, hydro sensor... How much gas is in here? Not that much. Gas has no infinite pressure, but liquid would definitely break those. You'd need like five layers of tiles depending on pressure. I don't know how much liquid phosphate you plan on having in there. Uh, just enough so that the pump will uh, work efficiently. Actually, what's the thermal mass like? Phosphorus liquid. Uh... Conductivity is kind of low. Specific heat capacity, 0.77. Polluted water is way higher than that. That's kind of good, actually. Water should be about the same. Uh, crude oil. Got some here, weirdly enough. Uh, 1.7? Okay. So the specific heat capacity of this is fairly low. Which makes it easier to heat. Which means we're not going to have as much, like, heat energy in here. Was there pea water in your big storage? I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. There is. Maybe someone made a mess. I have no idea how that got there. I would have thought there'd be more of it here if someone made a mess. It's below the pipe. I wonder how that happened. Oh, maybe it was this. Yep. Yep, I was a little bit afraid that this would happen, but I thought it I thought the polluted water would like stay over here and we'd drain enough water that we wouldn't pick it up. Um unfortunately that's not how it played out. How am I gonna remove just a little bit of polluted water from there? I can't mop it. I'm not about to let it through here. Maybe if I did... No, I can't. I think you can mop it. Too much liquid. Hmm... Dehose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bottler could work, but no space. Bottler. I could just move the storages, if that's an option. 
Uh, what do we mean by bottler? As in... You don't mean a pitcher pump, right? Yeah, there's no space for a pitcher pump. I think there's no space for a pitcher pump. Can we... It might be possible, actually. If I just remove this, this, and this. Put the tile, then you'll be able to mop. As in, put it here? Right, let me try this first. Um, I'll definitely take some brine. I think I have a... yeah, here it is. Salt water and brine both be put into the desalinator, right? Okay, so this thing has water and polluted water available. Does that mean they can take it from both? Or either? Um, enable auto bottle. Since the messages are saying not allowed by schedule, as opposed to there isn't any available, I think this might get the job done. Alright, do I have to... Nope, Nails is on the job. Uh, now it's Damsel for some reason. Where'd she go? Good job, Damsel. Did we pick it up from here, or what? Let me see. Damsel current errand. Or is she finished? Or is she doing it again? There you are. Follow. Where's she? Oh, 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 we're picking up polluted water from all over the place still. That was the brine. Errands. Sheep say mare. Did I miss it again? Because I can't see the errand from the pitcher pump. Okay, how much is here? 435.7 kilograms of polluted water. 435. Can we mop it yet? No. Is this it? Nope. I would love to see if this is working. Nails current errand, where are you going? Oh, you're already carrying polluted water. So I think it's just that they weren't doing this before, and I cranked up the priority and there's polluted water bottles all over the place. But I don't know yet if this is going to work. I have a dupe, that's fantastic indeed. Picked 76 grams, oh my goodness. Lass, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this notification I keep not seeing? 
They could have picked that three run, but you have small bottles in base. Yes. Was that it? Damsel, what are you carrying? I... nothing, apparently. 435... grams. Still. Can I crank up the priority of this one? No. How's our temp? Plants are still not growing. 31 degrees, we're getting there. We are close. And we've got 24,000 calories. I think we're going to make it this time. You two are still here? I'm going to stop trying to wrangle you. You can just be food. How's this build looking? Uh, so basically... Actually, I think I want to put the Hydro Sensor one tile higher. And if we detect any liquid, we'll stop putting... Uh, we'll stop outputting Phosphorite. This isn't going to overheat, is it? No. Uh, we'll stop outputting Phosphorite. Let me just check where Gold Amalgam melts. Uh, lots of degrees. Okay, cool. The warning was flee fleeing, indeed. <laughs> Thought you were going to say fleeting. That would have been accurate as well. Okay. So we don't need to spend any power on this. We're just going to prevent output. Based on whether the liquid goes up to the top uh, layer. And I guess... We don't need gas in here, right? If we do have a small amount of gas, is it going to prevent liquid from getting into these tiles, or no? I don't think that's how that works. Oh nice, Boovim actually did something efficient. Deconned this, picked up the copper, and then built it here. Fleeing, indeed. Um, can we stop starving? That would be nice. Okay, so we're gonna have... How do we still have zero steel? What? Oh, because this is still queued up? Wait, how have they not built this? Whatever. We're just gonna leave it there for now. Um... We actually have 1400 steel. Okay, that's something. So we can do at least one thermal aqua tuna. And we want a pump, which will probably also have to be made of steel. That needs 400? No, oh, 200. Um, that's going to take liquid out of here. Once there's enough to make sure the pump isn't wasting energy. So if any liquid is detected up here, uh, we're going to turn this on and turn this off. Seems good. And if it's liquid, we know it's the right temperature. Still limited by lime on steel production? I don't know what we're limited on. 
It is... No physical input limitation at the moment, actually. Uh, there's still that refined copper there. There's 1800 copper here, why? We're only making 200 steel at a time because I can only set this thing up to two tons. Bruh. Um, we can sweep copper. Okay, cool. I'm deliberately not storing steel or iron because it comes straight out of the machine and we stop making more based on how much we've got uh, sitting on the weight plate. So it's a copper limit. <laughs> Unfortunately. There was a little bit of copper here earlier. I have no idea why there's all this copper here now. Absolutely no clue. Yeah, so now the steel machine is uh, switched on again. Yeah, curbs. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we probably effectively have way more steel than I thought. That's good. And thank you for the follow. Um, we've already got the automation here, so I think we can connect this up whenever we want. And that'll start bringing the phosphorite over. And even though this is already blocked, even though this is already backed up, this side of the T intersection, it's actually like causing it to split and leave a gap between, which is weird. Uh, I'm really not going to be worried about the throughput rate from this thing, though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, let's get some copper down here. And we're gonna want some regular tiles over here. This room, we want to just be like regular room temperature. As long as it's cool enough to... Hmm. Maybe I should insulate this. Because we're going to be pumping really hot liquid down here to cool off and become solid. And I don't want that much heat spewing into the base. We want the heat to stay in here after all. So yeah, I think it probably sh should be insulated. It's okay if there's oxygen or carbon dioxide in these rooms. Which is... Not usually the case when we're building stuff like this. Okay, so I think we'll have... Hmm. Well... Well, well, well. We're going to have a liquid coolant loop, right? We want this end to be like 250 degrees, and this end to be 40 or lower. Can I really control both at once with one cooling loop? I'm not sure about that one. Unless the thermal mass of both ends is different. And then it would have to be precisely calibrated. Right? And the fact that we're bringing stuff in and taking stuff out all the time would probably throw it off even if we could do that. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Do 
Do I really just need to have separate dedicated cooling loops? That might be the way to go. Except in this case, it's not a it's not like a usual cooling loop because we want the thermo aqua tuna in a room that we want to be hot. What if we have one thermo aqua tuna to run to arbitrarily generate heat, and? Well, if we cool this room enough, the heat from outside is going to creep in. Albeit slowly. This is actually hard to figure out. The neatest way to do it. I think if we just keep running this thermo aqua tuna until this is negative 250 degrees, this room's going to be quite cold, and I don't care if it's extra cold. Yay, yeah, base is saved? Uh, yes, I think it is. Wait, no. We've got 32 calor a thousand calories here, but we're still slightly over 30 degrees. We're not growing bristle blossom yet. Have you still not built this? I ordered this 600 years ago. Bruh. Well, I guess it'll get done one day. Okay. So, if that's the case... Well, we obviously need insulated pipe in, insulated pipe out. I don't think we need... I don't think we need this to act like our coolant loops usually do, where the aqua tuna has, like, a bypass, where we prioritize liquid going in and out of the aqua tuna, but the liquid can go past it, even if it's not running. I think this might actually be a case where we don't want or need the liquid uh, to go past if the aqua tuna isn't running. So we literally just do it like that. And, and we can... This is probably unnecessary, the amount of it, but we can radiant pipe like this. And we just... Yeah, I don't think things can get cold enough to be a problem, as far as I know. If they can, maybe we just let cold air... Uh, I mean... Let the lower temperature seep into the base this way. Can you explain how the pipe priority works when you set it up that way? Sure. So, usually I do it with the default orientation, left to right. Uh, and let's say we have some, some thermo aqua tuners in series. So, we've got fluid coming in into the aqua tuna. Uh, if it doesn't go into the aqua tuna, we want it to skip over. And then, same thing again. Whoops. And same thing again. So basically the bridge goes uh, here. Um, but we're going to have the output pipe go... This is wrong. Uh, we're going to have the output pipe go that way. So basically, uh, 
it'll always try to go to the first uh, input. And if that's full already, or if it's not doing anything, the liquid will continue past there to go to the input here, or the bridge. And then, conversely, on this side of the aqua tuna, um, if we're trying to output from this bridge, but there's already liquid coming in this way, uh, the bridge won't be able to output. So it's higher priority into the aqua tuna, and higher priority out of the aqua tuna. But if the aqua tuna isn't being used, uh, the liquid can keep flowing. All makes sense, thanks. Nice, nice. How, how can I... there we go. Alright, do I want to steal oil from... Well, this is like our oil main bus here, right? If I just steal it from the main loop, it'll sort itself out. Does the main loop supply the old stuff? It doesn't. I kind of manually filled it. I could take it from here and, like, fill this up more. It's probably fine. Why don't I just let it saturate this? Like, half fill it. And then... Allow it to go in this way, temporarily. Actually, I'm going to have to be super precise if I do it that way. Can I not just put another reservoir here somewhere? I made this slightly too small for a reservoir, though. Um... No, I think we can do it this way. I'll need a bridge, though, to make sure that's one way at first. What do you want to call in that room? Uh, I want this room to be hot, and this room to be cold or room temperature, I don't care which. Um, so we're putting in a uh, phosphorite. Oh, I just realized. I think the phosphorite on the conveyor rail here would potentially melt. Uh, which means our controlled input wouldn't work properly. Or at all, really. So, let's put it that way instead. And that should work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Unless this insulation tile... Uh, ends up being very hot indeed. Which I guess it might eventually. Well, if we're taking hot liquid out of here, down to here, and cold phosphate is coming in, no, it, it should it should be able to regulate itself. What does the phosphorite do in this case? Uh, it melts. So, phosphorite solid becomes phosphorite liquid at 243.9 degrees. Uh, and then, if it solidifies, it goes back to a solid. So that we get refined phosphorite, uh, phosphorus, that's the idea. Shin Tei, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I did I'm not trying to replicate a stupid idea I had with carbon dioxide, am I? Carbon dioxide liquefies at negative 48, solidifies at negative 56.5. No, never mind. Uh, yeah, so basically turn, turning it into a liquid and then back into a solid. Uh, refines it. I hope there's not going to be some side product that I don't anticipate, like a gas or something. That could mess us up. I guess we're going to find out. How have we still not built this? How dare you? What can you do with refined phosphorus? I need it for... Uh, the Geotuner, which is, you can build it anywhere, but you point it at a specific volcano that you've already analyzed, uh, and it'll increase the temperature and output. So we'll get more copper at a hotter temperature, which means we'll get more copper and we'll also get more electricity out of here. Um, by sucking up that heat. That's the idea, anyway. How's our build upstairs coming along? Very, very, very slowly. It's, it's that much harder for them to build over here, because it's further away, I think. Squillibomb? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That means you try to hold 280 degrees Celsius with that metal airlock. Uh, yeah, it's made out of copper. Refined copper. Which will melt at... a thousand-ish degrees? Uh, 1,083. And this area here is going to be vacuum. So it's not going to get that hot. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like we're not able to build down here right now. Did we finally get that gas out of there? We did. Fantastic. What's your problem? Irrigation. Oh, there's not enough polluted water coming in. Uh, our water situation's okay. And irrigated water is going up this way. It's actually going both ways. I'm okay with that. But yeah, it looks like we're definitely going to have room for enough of these plants um, that our polluted water can't keep up for now. I need to delete more CO2 with the uh, scrubbers, carbon skimmers. I mean, I don't think I can do that consistently. I think we've already settled to the point where there's no CO2 around the base. Hmm. How can I get supply more polluted water to these things consistently? I wonder. Alright, 
It's going to take them quite a while to finish that. Um... Do you think the Puffed Prince will be mad at us for putting him in a tiny room? I could probably make it bigger, of course. What are we printing? Steel? I'll take it. Should have checked the food before I scoffed at that uh, omelette, but we're fine. We're still not growing bristle blossom. We're at 30.5 degrees. Still. Thought we were at like 30.5 degrees a while ago. What is. Wait, what? What was Sigma being just doing? We still haven't moved any of this polluted water. I think he was trying to pick up the polluted water, but it wasn't working or something? Yeah, 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 look at what Sloter just did. He just came to the pitcher pump and, like, diddled a little... diddled a weird little movement. Errands... No pending deliveries. Okay, Nails is on the job. Is Nails about to come down here and do a little jig in front of the pitcher pump? Nope, Aaron's just changed. Ragnar. Wait a sec. No? I don't know. Let's try the other method. I think someone suggested building a tile on top of it. Um, can they even reach this to build it? Probably not. Maybe I should have made it one tile higher so the dupes can get through here. gonna Tetris that pea water out of existence? <laughs> I hope so. How is there so much crap on the floor here? That's odd. It's, a, it's in front of all of the storages. There's just tons of crap on the ground. How close are we to feeding our Dracos? The oxygen is at 27 degrees. But... No, everything's below 30 degrees. What? What's your problem? Body temperature. Temperature 42.2 degrees. Oh, that's the glossy Draclet. 29.9 degrees Celsius. This meal would should be growing. Oh, it is now. We literally just caught it growing. Okay. Sneaky. And we're down to... 30.1 degrees minimum. This is about to start growing again. Finally. Pip's playing with your storage bins? Do they do that? How hot does our steam get here? 150 or so? I did add active cooling here when we need it. Um, we've basically got passive cooling for the steam turbines, but if, if the temperature here gets hot enough, we let the hydrogen come in as well, which is going to heat up our base a bit, but it'll, it'll keep the steam turbines working. Oh 
Okay. Um, and I think I would like to decon that. I was afraid of that. This is now unreachable. Okay. Is this ever going to get built? It's priority three. I don't desperately need it built, but I'm surprised it hasn't been yet. We do have uh, proximity enabled, right? Yeah. Can we get rid of all these ladders now? I think we can. Okay. <sighs> what a beautiful sight. Food. And it just got a bit hotter all of a sudden. But we are seeing some bristle blossom growth again. Even if it's a little sporadic at the moment. We'll keep the microbe musher going for now. Oh, we've already got the oil in. Fantastic. Um, get rid of this, and I'm hoping that's all we need. Does this have its input? Pipe blocked. Contents. Contents none. Uh, as long as the input's always saturated, it should be fine, actually. And I would like to get this put back where it came from. Also, I didn't mean to fill this that much. Okay. Can we fix that? Yeah, we can. Easily. Let's let some of it drain back out, so there's going to be some slack. And... I think we're almost done here. Look at the pee water, the normal water gets low. Look at the pe- oh wow. Hey, I can mop it. Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay, you can stop mopping the regular water. Good job. Well done, damsel. That was fortuitous. I was gonna build a tile there and see if see what happened, but we're not going to need to now. Fleeing? Is that what it says? Are they fleeing poker shells or something? Why are there grown up poker shells in here? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, can we sweep this and actually get this built? And I think start sucking the gas out of this room.
Oh boy, that's going to be trickier than expected. I think I'll just push it to here. And output at high pressure. And let's get a bridge. Okay. What's our copper? 5.3 tons, that's good. Our PHL got stung somehow. I like how he's on 99% lying on the triage cart with like two limbs in casts and then hits 100% and just immediately gets up like it's totally fine. Oh yeah, we want to copy this. He was gravely sick until the long weekend started. <laughs> Indeed. Can relate. How's our project up the top? Wow, that is not getting built quickly at all. I mean, I didn't expect it to, but I don't expect to see no progress. Every time I check up here. What are we printing? Omelets. Actually, I think they're automatically going to get cracked. Don't even have to do anything. Surprising how long this build takes. I mean, it's always surprising how long every build takes, to be honest. I think that's the worst part of this game. Once you get past the survival phase, you just want to be working on new experiments all the time. And you end up just having to stare and wait and stare and wait for dupes to build things over and over again. It's particularly bad because if you build something like a sensor, you have to wait till it's physically built before you can give it settings. I noticed the um, the copper volcano here has a graphic with a little screen on the analysis thingy. Um, even though this isn't working yet, I believe it's because we've set it. No? I thought it was because we'd set it as the target for the geotuner. Or maybe it just takes longer to update that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna want a temperature sensor. And we're gonna wanna just keep running it until we're at 250 degrees. I think that's how that's gonna be. Why are we making messes? Not again. Uh, could we please just not have to fix stuff like this for 10 minutes? So water's empty again. We've got a million salt water here, but we're not putting it in because... We are putting it in. 
It's just not fast enough, apparently. Do I need a second desalinator? Five kilograms per second would seem to be a lot. Well, four point... Is it 4.65 or 3.5 kilograms per second? One of these is for water and one of these is... Uh, uh, brine and one of these is for salt water. I don't know which is which. Uh... Oh, this is per cycle. Yeah, two... Oh, 2.8 tons per cycle. Whereas salt water is... What? Oh, apparently either way is just as... No, the display is confusing. Okay, brine is slower. Salt water gives 2.8 tons per cycle. That sounds like a lot. How hot is it here? 88 degrees. I think this thing works underwater. So now that we've got steel, I could just build it here. Except... Except the ladders would be in the way. Is it really a water throughput issue, though? This thing's... Is it turning on and off, or is it something else? Is it power? I thought we fixed power. It doesn't seem to be power. I think this is just as fast as this machine goes. Uh, okay. Can we get another one, then? And... swiftly. And I'm gonna need a way to get down there. Well, I might be able to build it from up here. Make it out of steel. Output water goes here. That should be fine. Don't forget the second bridge. Priority construction. Yes. I don't think we do need those. We might need those ladders, actually. No, it looks like they can reach, just barely. And we will, of course, need some power. I would say at least we have an early warning system, but it's not exactly an early warning system. You really picked this place to put a bunch of polluted water. I guess it doesn't really matter. Except that it looks horrible. It's gonna have polluted oxygen in there. Alright, did we get this built? We actually did. Amazing. Alright, that is going to be considerably more water.
Oh, and it should have the same automation as this one. Let's hope they don't pee in the water reservoir again. Uh, they can't. They didn't do that. What happened was... I wasn't careful enough about this bit of polluted water making its way over to a pump. I could have put a filter there, but I just didn't. They can't pee in the reservoir because they need an Atmo suit to come in here. You don't submerge your desalinator? Doesn't it get hot? It does, but not that hot. How hot is this? 85 degrees. I wonder if I could have done this before. If we make it out of gold amalgam, it can actually go to 125. Yeah, uh, I could have, should have done that sooner. could probably dig over this way and move this one over. Or move them both. This was built in a relative hurry in the early game though, so now we're stuck with this mess. It's pretty difficult to tidy up, especially while we're still desperately in need of water. But it looks like... Oh, currently we're trying to put... Currently we're putting more water in because our water is desperately low. I would prefer it if we were putting more water in because the temperature was low enough to say it's fine to put more water in. Um, but that's not what's happening right now. Yeah, are our... Bristle blossoms growing. Nope, the temperature's going up. Because we're putting in more hot water. That's not great. Maybe... We need more electricity so I can run the central active cooling. Maybe I should pay more attention to this build. Maybe I should have just got it working already, instead of trying to expand it. Yeah, I think that'll be a better idea. Um, so let's see, the coolant loop goes like this, um, and then up here. At least temporarily. And we'll want some hydrogen in here. We've got power. Fantastic. Let's get some doors. Um, we don't need a joint plate over there. And we've already got power all the way to this thing. Actually, it's like one tile off being completed. Seriously? I might just cancel this so that the dupes can't reach to... No, nope. I'll just cancel all that. Glass is infinite, we're fine with that. But I don't want... I want the dupes to use the resources that we've got here. I want to get this done. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't know you could turn a transformer on and off. 
Not sure why you would, I guess it's just like a power switch that's already there. Um, so we're going to want hydrogen in here and crude oil in here. And water here, but we need to finish this first. Oh, I did lower the priority on this. That's why they built over here first. I forgot to make this a low priority also. Okay. In that case, this might not take as long to finish as I thought. Once they finish those tiles, I can make this thing request water. Which is going to turn into steam. Alright. Or I could pipe water all the way up. That seems a bit much, actually. I will be piping up this uh, rude oil, though. Because, believe it or not, I think it'll be easier this way. If I fill this container and then, like, don't connect this, and then disconnect this, and then let it fill the loop. That should be a pretty good amount. Plenty of oil, and also plenty of slack. I guess I could even automate just adding more to it here. I'd need to add a... Uh, what is it called again? A liquid shutoff. That's probably the way to go, actually. And also, if this part is saturated, I wouldn't want this to add any more anyway. Maybe I could just put a bridge here. If this was saturated, and this filled up... No, no, no bridge. This'll do. Let's get some wire. Uh, automation wire, that is. What am I doing? Out of copper... Don't know if I'll need a knot gate for this one. Let's have a look down here. I've done something similar. Uh, no I didn't actually, that was a lie. Alright, can we get this one finished as well? Because it's so close. It's weird that they haven't built this before this. Any more pea water laying around? Oh, that ice melted. That's okay. Actually, I don't want water down here. Never mind. Hey, we somehow remade the Tower of Liquids a little bit. Pea water and water. I don't know how I got three different liquids sitting on top of each other like this before. Uh, probably salt water was one of them. But it would obviously be a bit tricky to get that over here now. We did start mopping this soon enough, that's good. What 
what are we printing? Steel. Okay. Uh, what's this going to be set to? Below... Uh, what's the exact temperature that the phosphorite liquefies? 243.9. So I'm going to set that to below 244. Is it already powered? It is. Is there any reason not to run it yet? I don't think so, actually. Hold on. Pipe blocked? Oh, I thought this might happen. It's too full. Oh, I can just drain it out this way, though. I said I could just drain it out there. Oh, this bridge is backward. I meant to replace it facing the opposite direction. Okay, back up to space. Um, is there anything else I need to do? I need to... I need to have a transformer to power not just these airlocks, but... Oh yeah, I remember this was... Just because this was plugged in, even though it didn't have a consumer, it was generating heat indefinitely. I think I can avoid that as long as I don't actually connect the main to it. Um, but yeah, we can have up to 2 kilowatts. The doors are almost never going to be used. Uh, calculator, hello? There we go. Um, we could do 16 and a bit. Let's call it 16 of these doors powered at once. With uh, one transformer, that is. Considering we only need seven of them for four solar panels. We could have one of these for every four solar panels and we'll, it'll be more than enough. That should be fine. Can the dupes reach all of that? I believe they can. Um, and we will definitely not be connecting our automation wire before the whole thing seems to be ready. But, I mean, we can connect it here because... Uh, because it'll be default no signal to start with. But uh, don't connect this yet. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I need to get some hydrogen up here as well, which is a hell of a lot easier to control the input for since all we have to do is let it get to max pressure. Whoop, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, we're still venting all of this? That's going to be another source of polluted water. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't just disconnect this when I queued this up. I had to wait till it was built, because otherwise the uh, natural gas generators are going to stop working. But I don't believe we need these pipes anymore.
So that CO2 is now going to be converted to uh, nothing, basically, except that it's going to convert water into polluted water, which we can get polluted dirt out of, and we get pea water for growing some of our plants and stuff as well. Lag's getting longer, yeah. Okay. Um, let's grab ourselves a farm station. I think it only goes to 60 degrees in here, right? Yeah, 60 degrees. Um, and that should then be a greenhouse. How, what room size restrictions are there on a stable? Minimum size 12, that's pretty small. Okay. Actually, let me remove that one first. I think they should be able to reach it anyway. How's our water? Uh, not great, but I see the electrolyzer's working. It looks like... Oh, they can't reach this tile after all. Um... They should be able to get that done now. Maybe? We're bottlenecked on the automation at the moment, regardless. Mr. Ray Ray, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have... This is priority nine and it's still not getting done. I need that wall there so I can start summoning water. going to take them a while to get this done. Um, how am I going to get hydrogen up there? Probably this way. Yep, that's what it's going to have to be. I have to dig through here as well. Wait, what? No, that's... That's it already. Okay. Except we can't do that just yet because they still haven't built this wall. Why is there polluted water up here, of all places? <sighs> I do love that the carbon skimmers basically have a filter built into them. Very efficient. Did we get this built? We did not. And this thing's flooded, actually. And that's still draining water? Good grief, how long have you been mopping this for? Holy crap. Did, did the pip just take from the storage bin? Can they do that? That's kind of rude. I can't believe we're still not growing bristle blossom. Oh god, it's up to 37 degrees. 
We've been living on mush for a while now. Oh no. Why are we so hot still? Um... It's actually a pretty good question. Why are we this hot still? They throw out all types of items in, from storage and put it back, and your dupes put it back constantly? Damn it. And I thought they were such nice, cute little critters. Oh, there's our puffed prince. That reminds me. That... Could they please get one thing done? Like, anything that I ask them to do. Could I, could I check back here in ten minutes and not find it not done? Ugh. Attack? No, I'm not attacking it. I, I need to trap it. But I need the drop-off to be made first. This has been sitting at priority 9 for... Oh god, you're joking. Oh, that's why. Okay, no, that, that actually makes sense. That at least makes sense. This is now reachable. Okay, cool, cool. But what, what's your excuse for the other things? Like not deconning this ladder. Or building this farm station that I asked for like 7 minutes... 7 million minutes ago. The pip sabotage? Yeah. Nasty little saboteurs. I can't believe how long they've been mopping up this water, though. It was from, what, four kilograms of ice, I thought? That doesn't make sense. Also, I thought we had a drop-off for ice in here. Oh, I probably removed it because the ice was somehow not melting. I think I saw Damsel use something that I didn't notice existed. Automatic dispenser. Stores any solid materials delivered to it by dupes, dumps stored materials back into the world if it receives a green signal. Does it do it if it doesn't receive a green signal? I imagine, perhaps. Yeah, so that's where ice should go. Mop can be infinite job if they start to do it on lower levels. Yeah, I, I get that, but like, I did not think it was that much liquid, is what I'm saying. Take the muck root unless... He'd have to be really amazing to take another dupe at this moment. Mechatronics engineering increased construction. But he doesn't have construction as a job. It dumps if it's not powered. That's how I use it. Nice, nice. Alright, apparently we're at the point where we have to set everything to priority 9 for it to ever get done. Uh, let's do a critter drop-off here. What does it take to have a stable? Uh, grooming station. That's all. Can we even groom flying critters, though? Is there a separate drop-off for flying critters that I missed? Like the fish release? I don't think so. Alright, airborne critter bait. Select bait slime. Does it matter which bait we use? Puffed Prince consumes gas. I guess we're going to find out. And of course, priority a million, otherwise they won't do it. And yet they are building all of these priority five things that are a long walk away without hesitation. Okay. Hey, this thing's done. Nice. 
Alright, so I can allow that to happen without having to babysit it. Um, the shutoff is already sorted out. Um, we want this about half full, if that. Probably less than that, actually, if we're going to automatically supply it. Okay. Let's prio 9. Everything that needs to happen for us to start getting solar power. Uh, I also want this though. Alright, so this is a bait with slime, right? I'd be surprised if that worked. I don't suppose it tells you how to bait them. Please don't tell me it's not just... Please don't tell me it's just impossible to move one of these guys around. Directly. I imagine they'll drop an egg. Oh, hey. That is one sad little Paku. Let's let's help him. Uh, what's your age? Forty nine out of seventy five. Puffed Prince Egg zero percent. But you're the puff. You're the puffed prince. What? What? This is also a puffed prince, actually. Okay. Puffedlet egg, puffedlet prince egg. 100%, 0%. Salty fish, indeed. It's a bait, not a trap. You bait them into a smaller area, then you... Then wrangle like any other critter. Oh, okay. Or you could simply collect and move eggs, if not in a rush. Tom, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the tip. No, I can't wrangle this. It, am I not able to wrangle it unless it's in, like, an enclosed space or something? The fact that I don't see any wrangle option at all... Wrangle using critter drop-off? Oh. Okay, so critter, puffed, prince. It's either puffed prince or... Uh... Squeaky puffed. That we need. But I haven't seen any squeaky puffs, and I don't know how I would make one. Select amount zero all critters. What? Amount zero all critters. Uh, I mean, I can try it. Max zero. All critters. And what, I'm supposed to be able to wrangle now? No? I want to think of it, I need to check the settings here. This would actually have wrangled him. That would have been bad. We don't want puffs in here, or stone hatches. I just want this for the surplus of the critters that we've already got. Uh, 
Oh wait, stone hatches would make sense. Where's the glossy Draco? There he is. The one in the wild near bait, you would build a critter drop off. Select auto wrangle? Oh my goodness. Dupe should come and wrangle any reachable critter in the area. Then you move that critter to another drop off. So you basically have to indirectly give them a wrangle order, is what I'm understanding. Where's the other type of puffed? Here he is. Okay. I only really want one puffed in there, but... We can get him, we can get him. So if I build a credit drop off here. That room is everywhere though. And I'll have to add some doors here arbitrarily. Like here. Just so we know which critter we're wrangling. Alright, we're slowly getting close to ready with this. How's our water situation? Bad. Very, very bad. They still haven't built this. I should have just done this. Still taking their sweet time mopping up. I'm surprised our Drekos are still alive. 35, 30 degrees. Where is all that extra heat coming from since we got our cooling loop fixed again? The water. been a thousand times easier this playthrough if we had a cool salt su uh, salt slush geyser like last time. Power. We bottlenecked on power to cool the place. That's why our aqua tuners here aren't running all the time. We just have to focus on getting that solar power. Which I could have and should have done a while ago. Almost there. Uh, I need a bridge. Oh, the hydrogen. That's just going to go there, actually. Uh, what about those doors? They still haven't deconned this? I thought deconstruction was implicitly higher priority. Why can't I? Oh. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna have to put a heavy what joint plate here. Just to make the door. I'm gonna have to stop powering everything up here for a minute. These things have charge. Tubes can get through the doors without power. If someone's stuck up here, the doors have charge. Should be okay. I need to get this deodorizer done. Maybe early on oil coolant is a luxury since it's using more than twice the amount of power. What? No, it doesn't take more power to transfer the same amount of heat around. It's a good smelting coolant? Yeah. All, all, all this is doing is pumping heat. Um, the amount of energy to move a certain amount of heat around is the same, regardless. Cooling oil and thermo is using twice the power. No, it the amount that the liquid is cooled depends on the stats of the liquid, and you put the 1200 watts... Uh, into the thermal aqua tuna regardless. So something with a lower thermal mass will get uh, will get cooled more by the same by the same wattage. It removes fourteen degrees fix so heat capacity uh, sets the difference. It removes 14 degrees, but uh, the amount of heat it generates is different, actually. And that heat gets recycled, not perfectly. But yeah, it'll heat up more or less, depending on the liquid. That is weird, actually. I forgot because it's really strange that it cools anything by exactly 14 degrees. That is very, very weird. Do we have this done yet? Nope. Let me please get it to the point where I don't have to babysit it. Oops. Finally. I think I was thinking of the uh, metal refinery, the way it heats liquids. What do we get? Tidying, supplying, cooking. Not that excited about this tube. Okay, so is this a room now? Yes. So we, you're saying set this to auto wrangle, no, to max zero critters, all critters, auto wrangle surplus, is that it? And if they can reach the puffed prints, they'll wrangle him.
That is so weird. Why don't they just patch it to work properly? How's this build coming? I think it's actually finished. I can scarcely believe my eyes. Alright, uh, let's think about this. We need hydrogen in here first. Which... We're not getting any of because of the way this works. I don't want to have to babysit it. Though, I, actually, I don't think it'll... I don't think it'll do what I want it to do. Even if I do that, I need to do this instead. Did he just chase that all the way down to the bottom of the base? Okay. So now some of our hydrogen is going to go to space um, so that this room will have some gas so that it can self-cool. The steam turbine can, that is. And... We're just deleting the heat from running the robo miners and the heat that comes from the regolith. Which, fortunately, because we built this up as high as we possibly could, uh, there's not that much regolith here, so we're not going to get an insane amount of heat to clean up here at first. Um, is this not connected? It's not. Space station almost finished, indeed. So we're gonna put, we're gonna like fill this up by one third um, for the coolant loop. We're not running it through a thermo aqua tuner or anything. We are simply running it through the steam room. And I don't think we even need radiant pipes for this. The only reason we need the coolant loop here at all. Uh, is to keep the Robo Miners cool. And when I say cool, I mean below 275 degrees. And they do take a very long time to heat up. Oh, actually, come to think of it... The heat from the regolith isn't gonna... It's just going to sit here, um, the regolith is, unless and until I put it somewhere else. I don't think it's going to exchange heat with all of this, which I guess I'm okay with, especially at first. I do need to put some water in here and enable auto bottling. And I don't think that's ever getting done unless I crank up the priority. Especially considering how far from the base this is. Buvim's on the job. A coolant loop is getting close to full already, actually. Kind of. We've already got our hydrogen. Fantastic. I'm just going to let that saturate. Hydrogen is basically free. I really need to move this, uh, this mess of a filter at some point. I should put it up here or something. Or maybe in the hatch room would be better. Why do you add hydrogen in the room for the steam power? Uh, just because it conducts... Uh, it's the best gas for conducting heat. Um, and I did run some experiments with uh, conduction panels. Uh, it's not good enough, I think, for a self-cooling steam turbine. 
Um, so we've just got the old radiant pipes where the water comes out at 95 degrees keeps the steam turbine under 100 degrees but for that we do need uh, we do need some kind of fluid um, around the steam turbine so hydrogen has I think the highest uh, heat conductivity of any gas at a whopping 0.168 but it's enough. It, probably some other gases would be enough, especially considering we don't need that many uh, steam turbines to keep up with this, but I would, would rather play it safe. Okay, um, is that it? I think it is. And I'll bear this in mind next time. No, I think it's still better to have a container when we have a loop like this. Because if I ever shortened it, it would be stuck. If there isn't some slack. Alright, it's a little different from what I did last time, but I think this is going to work. Also, we have some water. Fantastic. Uh, Lexi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So now all that's left is to connect this. And the door's open. Wait, is, is this connected? I don't see anyone wrangling. Oh, hello. Kevin appears to be... <laughs> Infinitely trying to wrangle this puffed prince. Um, <laughs> we'll we'll come back to that perhaps. But uh, there goes our regolith. There goes our robo miners. The space scanner gets very hot, but it doesn't care. It's not possible to overheat this thing. Although I think I did add a uh, a conduction thing to take the heat from the the space scanner, regardless. So we'll we'll have steam in here that much sooner. But as you can see, we've got like 54 degree oil coming in this way, and it's down to th oh, uh, just below 36 degrees before it leaves this room. Uh, we've still got a vacuum in here, but that won't be the case once the water flashes to steam, of course. Believe your crit is bugged out. They're still in the same spot. Might be a good time to reload. I thought it was just because they're too far away. Anyway, uh, I want to focus on this for now. So, Robo Miners have already done their thing. They are not having any tr- this one's actually gaining heat from our oil, but that's okay. It only has to stay below 275 degrees. Most of them are dropping temperature. Uh, as you can see from the layout, the Robo Miners are able to rescue each other, um, but also they're unlikely to get Regolith on their heads to begin with. Uh, and also, they're able to get the regolith that comes from... Uh, ...directly above their neighbours. And with this, we have one Robo Miner per solar panel, plus one. Uh, for complete coverage with maximum density of solar panels. And we're currently getting... Just over 300 watts. It's dropping down because it's getting late. Uh, once we swap out these diamond window tiles for mesh tiles, we will get slightly more solar power. But these are a lot hardier against uh, meteorite impacts or meteor impacts. Um, so I want to keep those until we're really, really sure this is working.
I also want to make sure um, we prioritize this thing running itself and export power only when we really need, uh, only when we've uh, made sure that these can close quickly. Um, I'm going to add a bunch of batteries up here in the steam room. And we're going to steal the heat from the batteries to get a little bit of electricity back. Not to mention keep them cool. Items can fall through fence doors? Fence doors. Oh, you mean here? Well, that's okay. Yeah, Kevin is having a good old time here. I don't suppose a save and load is going to fix it. Anytime now. Good grief, that's a surprisingly long load. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's crapping out oxalite. There's a puffed egg. What if I put a puffed egg in chlorine? Is it gonna like... I mean, I assume it's gonna be wild, so it's not gonna die. But is it gonna be more likely to drop an egg that uh, would Give us a puffed that can consume chlorine, or no? Will the prince come for the dupe's calling? I don't... Oh! Uh, the answer's yes. Is it... Oh my god. Poor puffedlet prince. Puffed prince. That's mean. And I don't know when we got a shine bug in here. But, okay. Critter... Puffed Prince. Let's go. Max priority. Someone gonna pick this poor guy up? Yes. Fantastic. Good job, damsel. And there you go. And the first thing he does is craps out some oxalite, I think it is, but I can't see it for some reason. Wait, does that mean oxygen is going to end up in here? Um, apparently I can sweep it, but I'm having trouble. Where is oxalite anyway? I was going to put ice here. Liquefiable, ice, crushed ice, snow. And just this once. Consumable ore? Oxalite. There we go. Consumable, indeed. Doctoring, researching, suit wearing. Uh, I think we're good, actually. Okay. Oh, these aren't getting fertilized. Do the dupes have to be able to go up here? To make this work? Is that how that works? Yeah, I think they have to be able to reach the ceiling. They're also... Oh, I didn't put pipe all the way across either. Hey, there's our bleach stone. Fantastic. Priority cleaning max. 
I'm guessing the oxalate can't actually, like, uh, disintegrate here because there's too much chlorine, actually. So I guess there's no rush. Could use sweepers? I can use sweepers to deliver to these guys? Oh yeah, I think I've seen them do that with machines. I forgot about that. But I don't think I can fit them... Can I fit them in here without upsetting the plants? No. If I'd had a gap of one here, I could. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Plants have to be there first. You can? What? Just like that? Is that going to let us put an auto sweeper here without, without any worries? Cool. Okay, so... And then I need dupes to bring... Fertilizer? Probably using build over plants. I am, yeah, actually. Don't they have to use the farm station and then... Do something with that to the plants? Can they just never do that with the roof plants because they're too far away now? Can I not have my double rows of plants? And not sacrifice anything? Also, why are these not... Oh, they are there already. Okay, well, what about our solar? I'm more interested in that for now. Did we already equalize the temperature? I think we did. And the regolith is still really, really hot. Hmm... What's your deal? Scan network quality 2%? Is that why you're telling me things? I would have thought it would be better than 2% considering you've got all this exposed space above you. We're only at 54 degrees for the water here. I think that's going to take its sweet time before it actually works. I'll want to sweep away the stuff in here. Should I just put it in here? Pull it down to 125 degrees. I need to do it sooner rather than later, unless I'm gonna close these doors for a while, and I really don't want to do that. Um, if I do add sweepers... This one's in an awkward spot. Oh, we've got plenty of steel. I don't want to put them here. And I'll have to... I think I'd rather put them on the ground. It's going to look more consistent, more neat. But I need to add um, induction panels, which is going to be a little tricky to do without messing things up right now. 
Now's a good time since the doors are shut anyway. Um, let's put our coolant in the container. And I might make this the standard. And I might have to make a little exception here if I want to sweep this up as well. How far does this reach? Oh, that's pretty good. It'll make this suitable if we expand this way. Why can't I see it? There we go. Alright, so... Remove that, 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 and we're gonna need one of these up here. I want it to go like this. And I'd like to see it done this year. Uh, and I need some electricity for this thing as well, I just realized. Although that's not as high a priority, honestly. Um, and we're going to be needing conveyor rail. This melts at over a thousand degrees, that's fine. I think I would prefer all of these to drop off at the same spot. Where the dupes can easily pick it all up. Um, and we're going to need a conveyor loader in range for each one of these, right? So I think they need one each. Ah. Uh... Don't tell me the loader is going to gain temperature as well. Okay. I guess I'll have a double... ...like this... ...every time. So we're just going to have... ...a couple of these in parallel. Except this time, it's a little different. And I think it'll probably be fine if the fluid splits that way. One door is blocking that scanner a little to the right. Yeah, but I, th I would have thought it would be better than like 2%, that's all. Dullest Wall, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and then we're just going to connect all of these like so. I don't really care if one blocks the other. That shouldn't be an issue. So we're just going to dump all of that material and heat into this room where it's going to drop to 125 degrees after a little bit of steam magic. And I'd rather see that done sooner rather than later, of course. Alright, let me just check on our water situation. Okay, that's actually good for once. How's our temperature? 37 degrees. We are living off mush for a while. Uh, I'm just going to save for the moment and I'm going to take a short break. 
throw up some words on stream in the meantime. Let me just line that up so we're not blocking things. Seems good. Selford Cell, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Steam Vesta, Stream Vesta incoming in 10 minutes. I will be here. I just need a very quick break first. Uh, and it's Discount Engineer for me, right? Alright. Let me just put that on. Uh, did I do the copy-paste? I did. Fantastic. Alright, uh, we'll start the words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. Nicely done. Let's continue, shall we? We still have 16 dupes, that's good. Um, we got power for this thing. Still a ways off of finishing this build to the surprise of no one. Oh, but the medias are still coming. So we haven't even wasted any, any time yet. That's cool. Okay, what about a power prioritization system? Um, I think if I build a... Uh, smart battery or 16... Oh, how much steel do we have? Technically less than zero. Um... Oh, this is green. So yeah, we actually are short. We're out of refined carbon? What? Refined carbon... Why is... No, 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 this is fine, actually. The refined carbon comes out here. Uh, apparently I switched it off at some point. Well, that's going to take... I don't know exactly. I don't know how much it's going to bottleneck our steel. Um, I can't remember why I would have been messing with this and changed it at some point. Probably there was too much heat, which uh, is definitely a problem we can't relate to these days. Yep. Um, but yeah, we're just going to spit out refined carbon until we've got two tons of it. Kiln is kind of fast. Yeah, it seems like it is, actually. And it doesn't take any... Uh, it almost takes zero dupe work uh, labor. Okay, what's this? Oh, crude oil, we haven't been able to mop. I should probably put a place for that. Cooking, building, and digging, plant murderer. No, I'm, I'm not going for any more dupes right now, not unless... Well, no, I'm just not. We are treading water, uh, food-wise. Not gonna happen for a while. Oh. I wonder how much ice there is lying around that we're now delivering here. Wait a minute. Are they doing what I think they're doing? Are they just cycling ice infinitely? You Muppets. How do I... <laughs> Can we... I, I wish we could forbid things in this game. I really do. Is there not a way... Uh, like, I, I have to make the ice unreachable. That's the only way this works, right? I'm guessing. Oh, boy. Here I was thinking there was some ginormous amount of ice that I didn't realize was lying around. From digging through the... Um, the cold biomes, which... To be fair, there is quite a bit. Uh, I really should liquefy it. But because of goofy stuff like this, I, I don't know how to make that happen. I've put it in a storage bin up here before, expecting it to just melt, because this is, you know, 30 degrees at the moment. But, um... It takes a shockingly long time like eons to equalize the temperature with the room if it's in a storage bin. For some reason, you're joking. What now? What? 
It already got to 295 degrees? Holy crap. Um... Damn? How much steel would it take to repair this? Is it less than what it would cost to decon it and put it back? Ice melts faster if you put it in a storage bin in small portions, like 100 kilo. Regular fell on it? We haven't... Oh. We have opened the door. That's... that's my bad. That's... That's a fucky-wucky on my part. Okay. Well, no wonder it got that hot. Um... I guess I'll just let them repair... Oh, god damn it. Okay. Let's put these back. Try and make sure we put it back exactly as it was. Um, don't forget some power for the containers. Yeah, I just I just forgot to make sure the doors stay closed. That one at least makes sense. Uh, but we need steel. Oh, we've got steel. I think we're fine, actually. Yeah, we're just waiting on the dupes to build it. Okay, so ice drop-off. Is there anything I can do about this? What if... Gwillem, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders, and happy, happy stream chain. How y'all doing? Greetings from the lair, we bring you love, nice. Happy stream, Vesta, indeed. How is your stream? And what were you playing? Let's see. Did I typo that? G-W-I-L-Y-M? Is my bot broken again? Streamlabs bot likes to switch itself off occasionally. Damsel beat you to it? Dwarf Fortress, indeed, nice. Oh, good job, Damsel. You have mods, indeed. <laughs> Apparently I do. I want to make sure the bot is active. Yeah, yeah, it's active. Alright, cool, cool, cool. How was... Dwarf Fortress. So I'm thinking here we could uh, do the ice drop off thing and just drop the ice in a place where the dupes can't reach it. Um, so where is it? Automatic dispenser. Unfortunately, they are going to be able to reach it if I put it here. It's going to have to be on the edge. And we'll put some mesh tiles for the look of it. And then... I think they're going to be able to reach it here no matter where I put it, actually. Unless... What it... Mm, nope. I don't think there's a single tile where I could drop ice here where the dupes wouldn't be able to reach it with their little like two or three tile range pickup guns was fun no sieges today thankfully got stuff done nice we were dwarves digging a hole diggy diggy hole perfect fantastic um yeah i think i don't think it's doable in this room i have to find another way What if... What if auto-sweeper... What if I get rid of these ladders and we have an auto-sweeper drop ice, like, here, where they can't reach it? Minister Ag, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is there a... Uh, is there a shipping thing where the dupes manually put stuff in? No... That's a little unfortunate. It's not that big of a deal, though. How's our space build going? Wow. But no progress. Uh, 
Uh, Minoiti, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome also. So what are all the things that come from regolith? There is, of course, regolith, iron... I should just add these one at a time. Uh, filtration, medium, regolith, metal ore, gold amalgam, iron... If we see copper or wolframite, I'll take them. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How hot are you going to get right now? Uh, okay. Halt. Halt and see. I just wanted the settings. I don't want you to cook yourself. Just need to be careful not to freeze all your water. Indeed. I like to melt ice in the water way better with mass than gas. Uh, yeah, but I'm not fussed about how quickly it gets melted, except that putting it in a container is shockingly too slow. Um, I think we've already done enough with the pipes that I could reconnect this. And reconnect this if necessary. Um, could we perhaps prioritize the pipes over over the rest of it so that we can get that oil loop going? And then I could let the auto sweepers do their thing even while the build isn't completely finished. Cell so organized, indeed. Uh, let's see. Minty Jones is live, so you can raid at your leisure. No rush, though. He's an hour early. Okay. Yeah, I, I will be going to my usual end time. I melt ice like this, put several containers with ice only, and limit it to 100 kilos. I guess that'd work. Actually, that's so easy, I want to try it. Um, I'll just do the one. And we'll peek back here and see just how quickly it's melting. I don't mind if there's only a trickle of dupes going to the ice biome to bring back ice either. Good night, everyone. Happy stream, Vesta. Take care, Galactic uh, Red Dragoon. And hope to see you again. Take care. I think I said take care. I am a repeatatron. Uh, let's grab... What is it called? Liquefiable ice or, and or snow. Limit to 100 kilo. And if I put a similar container up here, but for polluted ice, that should probably work as well, right? This room's hotter, or it should be. So maybe that'll happen quicker. I mean, I'm sure it will. Maybe I could allow more ice to be put in there for it to melt at a comparable temperature. I want to just temporarily crank up the priority on this so we can see what it looks like. It's me, Steve. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This game is so hard for some reason, I don't understand how anyone does it. I think what's most difficult about this game, for the most part, is how you can't just figure out one little piece at a time like other complex games. Not all the time, anyway. Um, are you guys going to bring that ice, or what? So, unless you're talking about Arcospheres, um, Factorio... Oh, we did get some ice. No, we didn't. I thought I saw a little green back here. Uh... Factorio gets very complex, but you can always learn it one little bit at a time. And slapping a steam engine together, steam turbine, is literally just pump, boiler, steam turbine, power pole, and some kind of power consumer. 
and that'll work. If you are setting up steam turbines in oxygen not included, there are several things that need to work and be correct in parallel. Uh, you have to get a few things right all at the same time, and you don't know what those things are, and they sneak up on you. Like, you know, you only find out that you built a aqua tuna out of something that can't stand being hot when it gets hot for example. They are really taking their sweet time picking up some ice. There we go. Snow, actually. Uh, where do we see the contents? No, I, I could have sworn I just saw them drop off snow, but it says zero. Delivered snow. Yeah, there we go. Four kilograms. Okay. Uh, plus six germs food poisoning in snow somehow. Let's see how quickly it is going to cool, uh, warm up rather. Oh, that is quick. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but how about 500 kilos or even a thousand? Just to get more efficiency with the dupes traveling. Um, I think I'll take some omelets. They really are hiding pretty hardcore engineering in acute wrapping. Kinda, yeah. Take care, it's me, Steve. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, it hardly looks like it, but we are building this little by little. I've only got a bit more to go, really, before we can see how this works. What I really want to see is that oil looping. So that we can not have 290 degree uh, auto sweepers. Alright, what else are we working on? I haven't really got started on this liquid phosphorite thing for a while. Also, why is that regular pipe? How dare you. Oh yeah, I, I needed a bridge going this way. So we can get the little bit of excess crude oil out of this system. I knew I should have used a container so we had more slack. Let's check on our volcanoes as well. We thought we had them all perfectly automated, but disaster struck eventually at the copper volcano. Looks like we're doing fine. And it is... wow. Um, I wasn't expecting to be saturated on natural gas. Is this output pipe, like, busted? It is. Pipes in this game are so weird. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I'll just put a second um, gas vent here. Oh, and this was going to be polluted ice. Fantastic. Does polluted ice just give us polluted water? It doesn't give us a bit of regular water as well? Because that would actually be a problem. Boop, 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 boop. Contents none. That is working beautifully.
Oh, we already made the plastic highway all the way to the oil biome. I guess that was a while ago, actually. We could make this plastic. How much plastic do we have? Four tons. I'd like to have a bit more before I do this. And we're finally getting close to finishing. Uh, we've got all the oil loop finished anyway. Are we actually getting oil through... Through these top ones, though? I'm not... The way it's animating, it doesn't look like it. I guess we can find out. Looks like they ignore the top part. That's what I'm afraid of, yeah. I'm just going to watch the temperature of these conveyor loaders. I know the one on the right is okay. But we might have to reshape the other ones. The conveyor loaders do generate heat, right? Yeah, they do. Uh, it seems to be keeping cool. Okay, this one's at 88.5 degrees. That doesn't sound like it's keeping cool. The oil's at 65. So I don't think that's working. Um, I think maybe we need to do the oil like this. And this one's obviously fine. It's going to make the whole place look really messy. I mean, it kind of already has. But uh, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to need those built quick. I'm surprised... It, I don't know why this conveyor loader doesn't seem to be gaining any heat, and this one is gaining all of it. But obviously the other machines are doing okay. At a chilly 65 degrees. No, don't turn around! You came all this way. At least drop the stuff where they can... Ugh. If I tried to, like, move him to somehow make him drop what he was carrying, I think it would have just dropped down the ladder. I'm obsessed with the conveyor baskets. They're so cute. I guess. I like the uh I like the sound that they make in the conveyor overlay. Okay, how close to cooked is this gonna get before someone fixes it? 93, it's gaining heat very slowly. It can go to 275. I think it's going to be okay, but I'm not going to trust it. Okay, that one's at least supplied. What's your problem? Filter's not designated. Oh, right. That's fine. And how much hotter is this? It's only gained like 10 degrees since I started dropping all this hot stuff in here. The regolith is actually over 200. But apparently we already put an amount of water in here that takes some time to heat up. Extra cute when it's just one thing going along the belt? Uh, what, like one type of thing? Or one thing by itself. One tile. Oh, that's it. It's done. 
Fantastic. Okay, so we should expect the conveyor loader to keep gaining heat because it's below the average. This one is dropping. Fantastic. Uh, and I think we're ready. Unfortunately, there are meteors coming right now. But once that meteor shower stops... Maybe I should put another notifier up here that's connected to the inverse so I can know when the meteors stop. What's the benefit of putting hydrogen around the steam engine? Uh, it's just the best, uh, it's the most conductive gas. And we do need some kind of fluid in this room here so that the 95 degree water that comes out of the steam turbine can exchange, it can equalize temperature. The steam turbine itself gains temperature uh, when we put steam in it, depending on how hot the steam is, it'll gain more temperature. If the steam isn't too hot and you have something like this set up, uh, it can actually keep itself cool with the water output. Yes, indeed. I did experiment with the... what are they called? Uh, conduction panels to see if I could do this in a vacuum. I'm pretty sure the answer's no. I'm pretty sure even if you squeeze in as many conduction panels as possible, uh, and even if you're... Well, it depends on the temperature of the steam that you're dealing with, but it's it's not very good at best. Like, maybe... I mean, obviously, if you're sucking up steam that's like 125.1 degrees, um, and not that often, it could probably self-cool itself in a vacuum. But... It's just not as good as having the radiant pipes and uh, the hydrogen. Maybe it would be better if I had all three. If I had the radiant pipes and also the um, conduction panels. Um, but I've done. I, I've built this before, and I know it's going to be able to cool itself as long as we have enough steam turbines. And I'm pretty sure, like having one steam turbine every other solar panel, like I did previously. Uh, it's probably going to be way more cooling than necessary. Damage overheating. Is that going to happen if... Yeah, I probably should have put mesh tiles up here. Oh wow, it's already dead. If I put just one mesh tile here... Are the robo miners still going to be able to reach everything I want them to? Is what I'm wondering. I could put it higher up. Let's uh, let's experiment a little bit. I do like these new construction cooler buildings. They've simplified vacuum setups nicely. Yeah, it's not just simple, uh, simpler, but like having to have a little splotch of oil here to keep these things cool was really silly. In my opinion. And or have a room with gas. You, you have to have like some drywall, robo miner, oh sorry, robo miner like this, tiles like this, drywall like this, and some oil here for example. Or you had to have the whole thing in a room with gas in it. Not great. Particularly for things like miners that you might place on a wall. Yes. Alright, let's see what kind of line of sight... Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Uh, these two would also be valid. And everything works, actually. 
All right, which one looks best, do we think? This is very important. Also, can we get this fixed sooner rather than later? I guess it doesn't really matter. We've got oil coming back at 90 degrees now. Water is at 84. Do I have to, like, max prior this to get it fixed? There's more overheat damage. Wait, what? Seventy-five plus two hundred. It is made of steel. Is it saying overheat damage because it's already damaged? Or is, that, is it actually taking more damage? Uh... I think it's taking damage. It is taking damage, why? Overheat temp 275, temperature 113 degrees Celsius. What? The one that's not damaged yet doesn't seem to be getting worse or anything. Because of the content they're holding? it. But the machine itself is still only 100... It's dropping, 110 degrees? Can I make it so that a conveyor loader can only hold on to a certain amount? Apparently not. Can I automate it to not pick up anything if there's already something on the belt? I wish the dupes would not take 600 years to do things. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to... We're gonna have to emergency priority this. Otherwise it could literally take them cycles to bother to do it. Okay, they literally just fixed that. It is taking more damage. So this one here is special somehow compared to these two. That is very, very strange to me. Contents at 319 degrees, at 288, that's not that different, and it's also above the tolerance. 318, 258, so it is the colder ones that aren't getting heat damaged. The first one can always get rid of the hot material while the later ones are holding it. Yeah, that might be... might have something to do with it. But... Maybe I should have a separate conveyor rail down for each and every one of these. Or at least one every pair or something. Maybe three separate conveyor tracks, exactly. It's unfortunate that the dupes would have to... I, I can't converge all of these on one output. So to pick up the items that we get out of this, the dupes would have to walk a bit further. It would spread the heat more evenly through this eventually very long room. I wish I could detect the temperature of these things. We're not having any trouble keeping the like the actual buildings cool, the actual temperature of the buildings. And I do wonder if 
once we caught up and equalized all the temperature, this wouldn't happen. 20 kilograms a second is a small amount anyway. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be a setting where... where we can say only hold on to a little bit of stuff in the conveyor loader. Wait, why the hell is this not a problem when we're picking up like 2000 degree copper? I guess because we're quickly equalizing with the room because there's steam in it? But uh, we've got the conductive panel and the temperature of the loader itself doesn't get that high. That's weird and bad. And I don't approve. <sighs> What's the solution? One loader doesn't get blocked? Yeah, the ones that don't get blocked... Even, even though they're completely full of hot stuff... Um, it does seem to be the ones that don't get blocked. Maybe it's... it's not the contents. The stuff on the conveyor rail itself in front of them is perhaps transferring that much heat. It's really weird that the temperature of the conveyor loader itself doesn't go up though. But that might actually be it. Okay. In that case... How do I most easily disable these? Disconnect the power. Except then... The loaders aren't going to work. And we can't get the stuff out of them. Is that actually a problem? Will this prevent damage? about this. That's going to overheat a little bit longer, and I think it's going to stop overheating as soon as this backlog is gone. No, it is still overheating, so why, why doesn't this one overheat? That is bizarre. There's a trick with loaders in a vacuum around only cooling the tile with the power input so you don't try and cool the rail contents. Oh. Oh. So you're telling me even though it says this thing is well below 275 degrees. Uh... The conduction is actually transferring heat from the rail thing. That's the difference between this one and this one. No, it's not. Im Rosie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Because this one, this one should also be trying to transfer heat from this tile of conveyor rail to here, right? Or does it not work that way just because it's not, like, continuous through here? Jerry2PC, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. New to the conduction coolers, but this applied when using a liquid medium. Okay. Well, it's worth a try. Definitely. Let's, uh, let's get some science in here. And I will continue to be confused as to why this one is an exception. Um, alright, so we need to build that as quickly as possible, please, as always. Putting the loader on its side so you could put a little oil in front of only its power input. 
yeah, like putting it, like what, upside down, like this? Or over here, or something. Horizontal. Okay. I, I guess you're putting a very precise amount of oil in place. I'm surprised tubes aren't bringing more water up here. That works, I guess. Um, there's no O2 up here? Oh my god, no wonder. That would probably explain it. Hmm. How do I prioritize O2 up here, quick and dirty? Probably by cutting everything else off. That should already be full anyway. It's hardly ever used. Uh, same goes for that one. That is not such a high priority right now. And this one is already full. And I can change the setting on these. Oh, I just tried to like shift right click, shift left click. Like it was Factorio. So here I've got some Atmos sensors connected to gas vents. So that the oxygen doesn't actually have to reach max pressure before it gets pushed forward. Recipe paste hype, indeed. Alright, that's a lot more oxygen going up, and therefore more trips that the tubes can make up here. Uh, more than one at a time, in fact. That'll be luxurious. As we slowly melt away our precious, precious steel. It's not that precious these days, but still. Um, and we actually want to decon these ones. But I definitely want the decon to happen after everything else. I wish you wouldn't come up here to do one job and then travel all the way back, though. My goodness. Yeah, I think it's better if we cut this off for now. It's actually pretty weird to me how this one doesn't overheat, if all those other ones are going to. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It should all settle at around 100, or I guess 125-ish degrees, because that's where we'll start sucking steam into the turbine. some max priority up here. Who's this? Kevin. Kevin's still pretty slow. What? Wait, what? Oh, it took overheat damage again immediately. Uh, because you didn't decon- okay, I should really decon that as a higher priority. It's gonna... It, it, it's gonna... Cancel the flow of oil, but that's fine, compared to immediately doing more heat damage. Uh, and I should just cut off the power to this thing in the meantime. 
Uh, we should also shut the front door while we're fixing this stuff. Maybe the serial versus parallel makes the difference? Uh, in that case you would expect the coldest one to be over here. This this one would be hottest. It, this one would be most likely to take... Uh, oh, you mean with the with the shape of the conveyor rail. Yeah, I do agree with that. I, I want to test like both possibilities though. That top one might not be overheating because it has equal priority to input on the conveyor as the other three combined, therefore has the highest priority of rail in total. Yeah. But um, when I had this one on the end, always able to output, and it's blocking these two, this one was also getting overheated. Um, so I don't know if that tracks. The oil is 50% uptime only. Oh, you mean because it's splitting here? I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. We don't have to cool these things quickly. We really don't. Uh, but I could... I, I don't want to make them like this, uh, just because it's going to be kind of, kind of an ugly zigzag. I, I guess it's already ugly. But right now we're just trying to fix it as quickly as possible. As the dupes take their sweet, sweet, sweet time as the heat damage still keeps adding up. Still taking overheat damage. Wait, there's nothing... Hold on. There's nothing here. What? What do you mean? You're at 80 f but Oh, you've still got stuff in there. That's why. I think that's why. But this one's empty. Wh what? 85 degrees. No contents. Nothing going past. It's still taking overheat damage. It's made of steel. I... What? Overheat temperature 275 degrees. Current temperature uh, 85 degrees. Damage overheating. There's nothing in there. Conveyor rail is at 223. That might be... That might be doing the same thing as... This one shouldn't even be able to gain any heat, right? The, the bits of conveyor rail that are not touched by uh, the conduction panels. Shouldn't have been able to gain any heat, but it looks like they do. Now it's just science time, indeed. They can gain heat from falling regolith tiles. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have... Hmm. Maybe I should move these mesh tiles up. And make it so that we never get regolith on these buildings. And have the conveyor rail all hidden behind the glass or something. This would be a lot easier in Sandbox. We don't have to wait through 17 cycles for the dupes to make a slight adjustment. Okay, it's... Not going to help that much if... If we hear the sirens every time this takes a little heat damage. Okay. 
I didn't have a millionth of the difficulty with this. Like, this is just the icing on the cake, moving the regolith. I did not have nearly as much difficulty with this part, with the last design. Weird why the middle one taking damage? Yeah, I don't know. I think they're exchanging heat with the conveyor rail itself. That's at 325 degrees. Um, how hot is this? 316, 316, 325. Okay. I think I should just deconstruct these. Should have done that before. Um, interesting that the auto sweepers aren't having nearly as much trouble. Even though they got covered in regolith. They do get dug out pretty quickly, but like, you'd think momentarily getting hit with 327 degree regolith entombed, they'd be more likely to take damage. I'm thinking we just move these up a bit. And we put the conveyor loaders underneath them. So that they won't get entombed or anything. I don't think getting entombed is the problem though, actually. But if the rail itself never or seldom and very briefly gets entombed. And it just goes straight down here. Then we don't get pieces of rail that are above 300 degrees, constantly scorching the conveyor loaders, even though the loaders themselves are well within tolerance. It's worth a try. Alright, I want to get all the oil back in to the loop as well. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, of course it is. It's going to take a little bit longer to empty. At least they have the smarts to wait a second for that copper to drop and just build this without taking another trip. So what if... I don't think we need um, this part. Don't tell me there's, there can't be oil in this thing, I'm pretty sure. Smart tubes? They fluke their way into it occasionally. Um, so I'm thinking conveyor loaders should go like this, perhaps? And we'll pretty much never get that entombed. But we should still have a pipe. Uh, we should we should still have some conduction panel to cool this down. Accidentally awesome, indeed. Like that, perhaps? And then we probably wouldn't have to have this weirdly located one. Well, the auto sweep is going to have to be located a bit weirdly for this for this spot. If I can just keep the dupes up here as well. Actually, you know what? 
That's exactly what we're doing. Let's keep them up here as long as we can to actually continue building. This is your home now. Does the mesh tile block some sunlight? Yes, it blocks a little bit less than the window tiles. Uh, but the window tiles are made of diamond and are very, very, very tough. So until we're a thousand percent sure that this all works um, a thousand cycles in a row, uh, I want the tougher window tiles here. Will there be a Factorio stream tomorrow? Indeed there will. Akira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. See, they've already built all this because they're stuck here. Um, yeah. That one's a bit trickier. I don't actually need two things here. That one's fine. I don't think it matters if both of those output like that there. Solution to everything is a prison? Oh no. Gotta cut that off. And that part there. Cool, cool, cool. And then this is fine for this iteration, I think. We don't need another conveyor loader here. Not until we maybe change that later on. Double check that's made of steel. Fantastic. I guess I could put this here, actually. And this is not powered right now, so... I guess that can stay for the moment. Okay. Are we at the point where the dupes are idle? No. Nope. As soon as I see them go idle here, is that it? Idle. Okay. I'll let them through the door. And I definitely want to copy settings here. Is this one done? Yeah, it is. What a mess. Oh, I could have had them do this while they were up here. Wait, was the tip to get it to exchange heat with the tile where this thing gets its power from? So I need to turn them around, right? Flynn, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. And hopefully this will be okay, but I have my doubts.
How much heat do we have in here? 97.9 degrees. Um, I could probably stop adding water here now as well. We do have some steam. Okay. Is there anything else I need to order up here? Possibly. Right then. I'd really like to see this working before we finish today. Not a whole lot else going on, or rather there is, but I haven't been paying attention to it. Did we get... we did. I remember seeing our puffed prince giving us some... What was it called again? Uh, I think it was bleach stone. But we still need that other resource to increase our copper output here. With the geotuner. That's going to be a bit more of a problem. Okay, I should probably allow the fluid to cycle. Been playing this game for a while, never got as far as this. Always run out of something. Too much heat, etc. and end up starting over. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I myself have run out of dirt uh, in a previous playthrough. <laughs> How's our oil... We need this built. Okay, it's already been half a cycle. Can we please get this done? And of course you're going to walk all the way back home after doing one thing. And taking up an Atmo suit slot in the process. Oh, cool, cool. Maybe what I should have done a while ago is put a storage bin here, or a few of them, with various materials for what we want to build up here. Definitely something to consider. But it looks like we're actually, maybe, kind of getting close. The all-important fluid loop isn't built yet. Maybe I shouldn't have max priority this part. Oh wait, we need the pipes. We definitely, definitely need the pipes. All right, can we see? Can we please see oil moving? Yes, fantastic. All right, uh, is this pipe connected? It is, which means we can try turning this on again and possibly immediately get overheating damage. Though we know this one somehow doesn't overheat. Oh. Don't tell me I didn't power them yet. Okay. Alright. Does that mean the, uh... Does that mean the robo... The auto-sweepers can't even put anything in them? It doesn't look like it. So, while holding on to 240 degree stuff... I mean, 240 is below 275, but still. They don't seem to even gain heat as fast as we'd expect. Alright, cool. Dupes are actually getting these last little jobs done relatively quickly. Fantastic. 
this one might be working without overheat damage. Okay. I think that's the trick, is to not have... Uh, the main thing is probably to not have the conduction panels touching both the conveyor loader and a conveyor rail tile with hot stuff on it at the same time. And that actually looks nicely consistent as well. I think we can actually open this up now. Or we could if there weren't meteors coming in at the moment. Uh, filter's not set. Let's fix that. Beautiful. It's actually working. Well, we definitely don't have time... Uh, to test this all the way to the steam turbine actually running today. But I think you can see even while we're dumping heat into this room as fast as we can, with the one conveyor rail anyway, which I think overall is going to be fast enough, probably, maybe. If it's not, we'll just have to do more of these in parallel. Um, but the rate at which the steam is getting hotter, you can probably see that we're not going to have trouble with a self-cooling steam turbine here. I wonder how much is left to pick up. Oh! Oh, there's no more regolith here, still. Yeah, even the space scanner didn't get that hot. Oh, and now we're shutting it again already? Really? That's rude. Uh, but yeah, I don't foresee any more problems with the overheating. Now all that's left to do is expand. And maybe we can find a slightly tidier layout. I don't know, this is already probably as, yeah, probably as good as it's going to get, honestly. Uh, it obviously looks even more cluttered with all the stuff on the ground waiting to be swept up. But that's fine, I suppose. More importantly, we've got a infinite source of power that is not dependent on volcano timing or anything like that. Well, I guess it is dependent on meteorite timing. But we can spam a bunch of batteries down here. The heat from the batteries themselves will even give us a little bit more power back. And let's confirm here that nothing's gonna... Here we have 320 something degree regolith. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to overheat. Our auto sweeper got up to 260 for a moment, but it's dropping down real quick. And considering that only a couple of tiles can accumulate at most, like 54 here, uh, I think we're probably not going to have problems. We'll see. Anyway, I think it's probably time to raid somewhere. Let me just quadruple check. I'm pretty sure it is Discount Engineer. Where's my schedule here? Oh, it changed. Wait, did it? Oh, that's, that's the backup. Okay. Minty Jones. Let's have a look-see. 
make sure they're live. Minty Jones, indeed. Take care, Larius. Thanks for hanging out. Alright. Let's be going. Do I still have 16 dupes alive? Yes, yes we do. Beautiful. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And tomorrow we'll be continuing with Space Exploration and Crastorio 2 for a few days. Oh, the steam turbine's starting to kick in. Nice. Here I thought that would take a while longer. Steam temperature below 125, yes, as expected. Take care, Morpheus. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll be continuing the uh, stream Vesta chain. Say hello to Minty Jones. Everyone give him a warm welcome. See you tomorrow, guys. It was not great. It was not great. Tyrannosaurus hacks. Oh, let me just. I've got to. I've got to. Muted that. There we go.